Welcome, 80s wrestling family, to yet again another virtually Vicky pre-show with my lovely, unfortunate co-host, Mr. Rob Williams of the Bob Culture Podcast. We're not worthy. Here of, we are again. I Here we are again. The shameless, shameless promo. <laughs> of course, with the goddesses of war champion herself, she will lie, cheetah, and steal your heart. The oh, vivacious, yeah. vicious Vicky. Vicky, how are you tonight? I'm very good. And okay, so last time we did this, okay. you came prepared and you had on a cheetah tie, which I thought was phenomenal. I thought you'd approve. Okay. I did. So, and I got you something. Okay. Because I feel like you're fit for this. Okay. And you deserved it. All right, I earned it. It's a little piece of Vicky. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. <laughs> Just lie, cheetah, and steal my heart. Right? Stolen my heart. Thank you, Vicky. Now you can be protected in style like me. Love it. Thank you so much. But let's get down to business. Let's yes, talk a little yes, bit yes. about some shameless promo. we got some new things Always. going on tonight. Vicky, what do you got for us? Woo. Okay, well, tonight we have a very special guest, Mr. Ron Simmons. Guys, I mean, if you know the career, you really, really know. Well, you think it you is to. absolutely incredible because it doesn't just go to wrestling. It goes beyond that. And absolutely. all of wrestling, we see athletes, collegiate athletes and whatnot. This is something really special, and I'm really, really, really excited to see this one. Yeah, you're talking to WWE Hall of yeah. Famer, uh, APA member, Nation of Domination. Uh, I know you're a fan yes. of that, Mr. <laughs> I am. I am a big fan of APA, though, I have to say. That was all my errors, so I... I like the hardcore aspect, you know? Absolutely. And a damn fine athlete, if I may say so Absolute. myself. Unbelievable. But Unbelievable. Guys, get those orders in right now, 80swrestlingcon.com. What do you think of the mask? I think you look great. I think you look better, actually. And that's not me being, like, over the top and rude. I just think that it brings out your eyes a little more. I appreciate it. It does. Thank it does. So it does. But I'm, let's, I'm, I'm let's get down to business. Let's talk some shameless, <laughs> shameless promo here. We're always talking shameless promos, Rob. But, guys, tonight... At 10 p.m. after the virtual signing, yes. between 10 p.m. and midnight Eastern time, following this signing on 80sWrestlingCon.com, we have 20% off every signing from now to the end of July. Yep. All right, and that's going to kick off our Monday night virtual with the code MNV. Yes, going forward, we are now Monday night virtual. So 80s Wrestling Con presents Monday night virtual because eventually, guys, we're going to run out of 80s people. Let's just be real here. And you know what? The base and fan base that we have, there is nothing better than getting guys from present, past, any error. It's unheard of. And, and, the same people we always see you guys coming in and putting your orders in and really, really supporting 80s wrestling. So that is why all of you should really take advantage of this sick deal that we're going to have tonight. So yeah. just be open, be ready, get those fingers ready. We're always on our phones, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, we very, we very much appreciate it right yes. now. This is a treat. I mean, it this is. is a treat. It's no lie. We yes. have these virtual signings, these Monday night virtuals, and we got a couple of big ones coming up. Should we read them off, Miss Vicky? Yes. So February 22nd, which is right around the corner, we have Powers of Pain. March 8th, I am extremely, extremely, extremely are. excited to be a part of this one because we have Wendy Richter. Absolutely. March 22nd, we have Cowboy Bob Orton. March 22nd, also Craig DeGeorge. Oh, and then we have that extreme signing on April 19th. Rob, why don't you read off the list of names that are uh, going to be here for that? A lot of extreme names on this one. Shane Douglas, Jerry Lynn, Mikey Whipwreck, Two Cold Scorpio, and Simon Diamond. You Mikey Whipwreck, one of my favorite underdogs of all time. I mean, come on. And I'm just going to say it again, guys, right now, between 10 p.m. and midnight Easter time, get that code MNV at checkout. Get 20% off moving forward now to the end of July. Vicky, who's next? Woo! All right. April 26th, we have Stan Hansen. May 10th, Ken Patera. Oh, that's awesome. And I'm excited for this one. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a mark over here, but that's a good thing. On uh, May 17th, Mr. Eric Rowan. Also on May 17th, Darren Young. Come and on. And let me tell you something about Darren Young. Darren Young, I have been watching Russell since I was 10 years old. 10 years old. So that one is very near and dear to my heart because when I first stepped into a wrestling ring, Darren Young was there. So. Oh, really? Yes. Yep. That's awesome. We'll really be, cool. Really we'll be cool. seeing him May 17th. Yep. Uh, May 24th, Nikita Koloff. Come on. Oh, June 7th, Rock and Roll Express, baby. And I know when we read these these names off last time, I acted the same way because I, how do you not get excited for that one? I mean, there's a couple new names on this. There list, is a couple new names, guys. Every time we're here, this is a real treat, like I keep saying. Yep. June 21st, The Head Shrinkers. And then June 28th, oh Billy Gunn, man. Like, come on, guys. And I bet half of these, half of these people, I didn't even think this was going to happen. It, this is, this, this, this is, is unheard like of. It is, it is. It's, it's, it's dessert time, guys. This is really happening. 
Yeah, start, okay. get, start getting those orders. You have me, right? They have me. The vivacious, vicious one. <laughs> Duh, that's the best thing you're ever going to watch on your screen. <laughs> but then you have all this, too. It's the best of both worlds. Vicky and all of this? Come on, guys. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. what? <laughs> Not to be cliche here, but wait. Uh -huh. There's more. There July is. 5th, we have Tyrus. And then this is a big treat for any wrestling fan. Mm. July 26th. Mr. Dean. That's right, guys. Malenko, come on. So, obviously, that ends our list as of right now. But I have to say, guys, you already know. It's going to get bigger, badder, and better. Right? Absolutely. Moving forward. And again, we'll say it one more time. Guys, between 10 p.m. and midnight Eastern time after the signing tonight, use code MNV for 20% off every signing now through the end of July. And that's exciting with our Monday night virtual. It is. I mean, listen, guys. I am extremely honored to be a part of the 80s wrestling family, but you, of all people, oh boy. should be honored to be here with me. I am on. I, I am, mean, you didn't. You said. All right, first of all, let's talk appearances here, real quick, guys. Oh I'm boy, sorry, here but it comes. hashtag you, wrestling fashion. You said nothing about my appearance today and how wonderful I look. You look lovely, but you didn't as say always. that. You here? Oh, wait a second. This guy comes with a T-shirt, right? Every time. And, and, a, nice and, a, and nice, a nice suit jacket. And a try. Not once have you wore a vivacious, vicious Vicky t-shirt. There, there may or may not be one coming. You've been, a he's Garden been, State Park sleigh one. He's been saying it's been coming in the mail for six months. He's full of well, donkey dust. We'll find out. Maybe on the next pre-show, the vivacious, vicious one. Fine. But let's let's talk about our guest today. Yes, Mr. we, we should. Mr. a trailblazer, the first ever African American world heavyweight yep. champion. Come on, just a trailblazer in the business. I think of two words. Well, I can actually think of one word. When I think of Ron Simmons, but I can actually, well, no, <laughs> I won't say that word, but I can actually think of two words. I think power and charisma. Yeah. Uh, I loved his work with the APA. Um, just one of the most powerful forces in the ring. When you see the career, you know, you get to be in this room with just some amazing legends week in and week out. Thanks to 80s Wrestling Con. I mean, you see the career of the lights, uh -huh. Ron Simmons, the power. I mean, as an up-and-comer, what does that mean to you? It's amazing. And it just goes to show the different personas and the different ways that wrestlers can you know, accentuate their craft. And I'm a huge fan of that because how else will I learn to be the best goddess, the best woman wrestler? Listen, I'm not going to get ahead of myself, but Ron Simmons may or may not have taught me quite a bit. Absolutely. And, and you are the best goddess because you have the championships. Of well, I have multiple, but who's yeah. counting? <laughs> you are. <laughs> but you look around. So what's, let me ask you a question. Yes, yes. Going based off Ron Simmons, what is your favorite persona? I always love the APA stuff. I yep. mean, the, the poker table, the door. It was amazing. Uh, the cameos. I mean, it was one of my favorite parts of wrestling. I came in around, like I said, the Ruthless Aggression era. And, you know, I look back and watch a lot of my history. Yep. And I just love the uh, APA stuff. That was my personal favorite. I know me, you're a me too. of domination. I, I, well, that was okay. when I first started watching. So that's what I was brought into. So that was definitely one of my favorites. But I agree. Um, you know, that era is, you know, where I grew up and whatnot. So to kind of relive all that and remember all those good times and everything and it just goes back to you know the 80s wrestling con bringing in so many different tag teams even if even if they're coming in a singles wrestler just goes to show the careers and, and the different tag teams that were involved you know in these in these careers it's just it's incredible Ab know? absolutely and like you keep saying this is a treat week in and week out yeah uh, you look at look around the room here i see action figures i see eight by tens i see boots I see footballs. I mean, we have the of this legend right here. And right in front of us, the WCW World this Championship. This is awesome. Yeah. I am not going to lie. Um, I almost walked out with this. Wait, <laughs> this never what? came back. <laughs> I did. I, I looked at it. I eyed it a few times, and I'm like, you're not going to see Vicky again. <laughs> but I, I composed myself. So, oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. That's okay. But this, Next time. this is just so super cool <laughs> to be in this room. Uh, to see this title, yeah. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's it's mind blowing, and, and again, like I keep saying, week in and week out, this is a real treat. It is, it is, Rob. And I, I mean, listen, just to bring it back just a little bit, because okay. I I had my moments where I can simmer down and be okay with you, but like I just feel like you're missing something. Okay. Oh boy, is this a fashion thing again? It's not a fashion thing. It's just a, a Rob thing. Okay. Like I just. I don't know. Is it is this a is this isn't a shameless plug for the podcast, is it? Um no. Oh, absolutely. But Vicky, you are absolutely killing it weekend with you out and it's an honor not only to be here in this room and, and learn and hear the stories from these legends or any of these meet and greets, guys get your orders and now at 80s Oh, I remember. Well I was gonna say it was an honor to be in this room with you as well. 
a Vivacious Vicious Vicky shirt. Oh, yeah? Are That's those available now? No. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe next time, guys, you'll see my dear friend or unfortunate co-host rocking a Vicky shirt. Or maybe next week he won't even be here. I honestly don't know. I, I think I have some pull. We'll see what no, Rob, I'm just messing with you. You just... You, you love You messing. just take it. Well, let's let's again talk about the career of Mr. Ronson. Yeah, Sorry. let's go back to that. Uh, See, you get me off track here. I'm and sorry. I get, I, 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 get to, I get distracted. I'm very intimidated no, but in the presence of the goddess. Oh, all jokes aside, guys, um, Ron Simmons has been in WCW, ECW, WWE, and a 2012 Hall of Fame inductee. I mean... Multiple-time tag team it, champion. Yeah, I was going to say, add on to that, Rob, because we do know this, this, this is a long rap sheet, guys. <laughs> Well, I'll ask you this one, Vicky. Uh, you've been in this room with a, with a ton of legends. Yep. We see a lot of, uh, you know, like a lot of big names coming into this uh, wow. for our Monday Night Virtuals. If you could choose a tag partner from this list, Ooh, Rob, who would it be? that's a great. It's the, it's the interviewer. You are getting points. I like this. If I had to pick a tag team partner, Wendy Richter. I thought you. No question. Absolutely. I think that would be a killer, killer tag team. Well, I would go. I would go Ron Simmons. So. I'm going to bring it back okay. for a second, as I always do. I've had a lot of emails. I'm actually looking at a few right now. They're coming in. Like People have been emailing me in my DMs on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, time. asking who I am and who was this Vicky person on the pre-show. I, well, I got an email from my mom today. I'm from your mom? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So clearly people don't know who I am. And I really just want to let the whole world know who the vivacious, vicious Vicky is. And I think I might need to show you guys just a little something so you either A, stop blowing me up and asking, and you learn a little something. So, okay, what do you why got don't we just on? wrap it up here, okay? Okay. We're going to give it over right after you guys watch who the vivacious, vicious Vicky is. Please, this will be the best thing your eyes have ever seen. <laughs>
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition. Technically, this is the launch of Monday Night Virtual from 80s Wrestling Con. The best, often imitated, never duplicated, but your chance to greet your favorite wrestling stars virtually the safe way from home. Just a keep quick reminder, my name is Ryan Moore. I'm your host for each one of these signings. This is not a shoot interview. This is like a meet and greet that you would have at a regular wrestling convention back before the pandemic. And this time, you sent your merchandise in from all over the world to be signed. And I'm sitting with a man who doesn't really need an introduction if you're watching this. WWE Hall of Famer, former WCW World Heavyweight Champion, multi-time WWE World Tag Team Champion, Mr. Ron Simmons. Pleasure to be here with you, sir. Man, it's great to be here. You know, thanks for having me, Ryan. And, you know, I, I, I'm picking and choosing, you know, these that I do these days, right? But each time I do them, I've had such a great time. And it's something I've always promised myself. When I got to the point where I could retire at the end of the career because I saw a lot of other guys do it, that I was going to come back and give back to the fans. And this is a great way for me to do it. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I, once again, guys, I mean, this is going to be a trip down memory lane for a lot of people, but we have a lot of stuff that we need to get to. 80swrestlingcon.com. You can order throughout the night. We're here till 10 p.m. But again, if you have any memories that you'd like to share about Mr. Simmons and his career, keep them going in the chat. We'll recite some stuff out. But again, it's not a shoot interview, so you do not get upset if your questions don't get answered. I just watched last night on the WWE Network the new Acolytes documentary right. on Untold. So there's nothing that we're going to uncover here that wasn't done so well in that <laughs> Thank documentary. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to get started right off the bat. Uh, and now I have to turn my audio off. I'm sorry. This isn't my first time doing this. Let's get this party started. So 80swrestlingcon.com throughout the night. We're going to be plugging all the different signings we have coming up. Some very special promos. I do want to say before we get started, from 10 p.m. till midnight tonight, following this signing, if you go to 80swrestlingcon.com, we're going to be doing 20% off every signing from now till the end what? of July. 20%? 20% off. Wow. So people paid full price for you tonight. That has to make you feel yeah, special. Yeah, well, yeah. Might, Everyone else is discounted. You might jack it up a little more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And as we open up most of these, Mike from Howell, New Jersey. First signing right there. Hello, Mike. Let's hook Mike up, man. Let's hook Mike Mike want to get things started, huh? All right. Perfect. We're starting off with the silver. Yep. I hope. Oh, we put Mike. Pass there we him go. On over. And uh, this is also to Mike, of course, the Nation of Domination photo. I think that guy looks a little familiar to some oh. of you, right? Oh. <laughs> Mike's got good taste. He obviously knows what to get. There you go. <clears throat> Frankie Scott says, one of the best wrestlers ever, in my opinion. A true legend and badass. Oh, okay. There we go, Mike. Right there. Perfect. Yeah, now, obviously, see, he's gaining a lot of popularity with me. You know what? <laughs> We've been good friends, man. Is that Steve Austin? <laughs> I think it is. I think, I think that the is. Backdrop? Yes. I think that yeah. is stunning yeah. Steve yeah, Austin. Yeah, that's stunning. Yeah. He's gone on to do well, pretty well for himself. Uh, just just <laughs> so. All right, Jumping J right. to J. Don't forget, guys, 80swrestlingcon.com, 20% off every signing after this one, 10 p.m. to midnight. But right now, if you want to order, go to 80swrestlingcon.com. You'll get your there sign you go, Jay. And your shout-out from Mr. Ron Simmons. This one is also for Jay. Right. Let's hook Jay up. Bryant Newell. I look forward to meeting Ron Simmons in Jackson, Tennessee on April 3rd. There you go. My oh, man. Again, Jay. Just iconic photo after iconic photo. Here you are with Nature oh, Boy Rick Wow, Flair. man. Let's keep him gone. Jay knows what to get, man. Dallas Eisenreich had asked thoughts on Bill Watts. Watch the documentary uh, on the WWE Network. It came out a week ago. Bill Watts is discussed in that. My buddy Mike Tarras from Pennsylvania. Mike. Okay. All right, Mike. Here we go. This one, speaking of Tennessee, Tullahoma. I hope I didn't butcher that. Tullahoma, that's Tennessee. That's close. It's close. That's close. <laughs> Brian right. Potts with World Heavyweight Champion Ron Simmons right there. I think most of us remember watching that live on WCW Saturday night, the night that it happened. It was like a real Rocky Balboa story, the way that they built that up. The slightly better. <laughs> you know, <there> you are. <laughs> Michael Sanchez in Vancouver, right. Washington. 
Right, let's hook Mike up. Hey, how Michael? Moving right along, Chris Burson in Linden, Texas. Right, Texan in there. Yeah, I'm always amazed each and every time we do this, the stuff from all over the world that comes in. Seriously. That's what we want to hear, buddy. From everywhere. Here we go, Chris. <laughs> all right, Ty DeFato, Ty in Farmington, Missouri. Ty. Ty. Oh, wow, Ty is taking me back there a little bit, huh? Yeah. Dennis Grinnell says, Ron looks like he could still compete in today's it's, WWE. It's an illusion, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but thank you. <laughs> well, I, I Here think we back, go, Ty. I, I think back to Triple yeah. H's workout book, and the first line was, I am not Ron Simmons, and if you're reading this, <laughs> you right neither there, are you. Oh, yeah. So okay. certain people just have those good genetics. Good I am you not there. one of them. There we go. Thank you. Now we got there we go, Ty. All right, we got John there. Dixon, right. Georgetown, oh, Texas. Right. There we go, John. Now we got Bryant Newell, also in Tennessee, Jackson, Tennessee. Oh, right. You must sign a lot of autographs. I love the. Love the Never get tired of it for the people, man. You know, great. Love it. Didn't have the time on the road, you know, so this is good. This is nice. Angus Spivey in Marion, South Carolina. All right. Annie. Okay, Annie. Let's change up and give Annie a new. John Perry says we missed the APA. We kind of have like an APA. So do I. We kind of have like a little bit of an APA set up here. Just hand yeah, sanitizer instead of beer. That's it. And, uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah, we'll take the sanitizer now, though, right? Yeah. Here we go, Annie. Ryan Rispecki in Chicago, Illinois. Great wrestling right. city in Chicago. Here you go, buddy. William Evans wants to know, how many frequent flyer miles did you accumulate over the years? Oh, God. A, a, few, a couple million, yeah. A couple million. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the best benefits about it. Yeah. That is one of the best benefits. Yeah. But I would imagine the driving would get old after a while. Like, even today, my GPS took me uh, a different direction. Well, and it screwed me well, up. Well, driving, sometimes it did, you know, but it was also fun, you know, when you're traveling with the guy. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. And you get to check so out different pretty, restaurants, yeah. stuff like that. Josh White in Rainbow City, Alabama. Josh All White. Right, Josh. There you go, buddy. Now we got Dustin in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Dustin in Wisconsin. Okay. He wants the dam, which actually brings me to a question by Aaron Witted. What was your most favorite dam cameo? It's you know, I've often get asked that, right? You know, but I, I tell you, it's it's so many of them, and they're so close, and I enjoy doing all of them, right? But I, I think one <laughs> that, that probably stood out to me was, well, I think we did a couple of with, uh, you know, the, the little Joe C, who used to be in Kid, Kid Rock's Rock, band, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> I really enjoyed, you know, doing the couple of those that we did <laughs> with him, you know, right? Like, I think for me personally, yeah. I got a kick out of him. Oh, and he was a huge way. wrestling fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember, I think that might have been the same episode, but didn't Edge and Christian put him in a garbage can? Yeah, uh, Dustin. Throw him against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, that would be canceled, but uh, back then it was fun. Josh Greenblatt in Iowa. Josh. It's actually right. two Josh and Alyssa. All right. Let's see if we can hook him up. Here we go, buddy. Josh and Melissa. Now we got Eric Werner in Peabody, Massachusetts. Eric hey, Werner. Eric. Here 
Hey, go here. Of course, uh, your former tag team partner, Butch Reed, recently passed away yeah. say, two weeks ago. Uh, a lot of people are asking questions about Butch Reed. Uh, Christopher Jones just wanted to know if there's any good memories, one memory that would stand out about Butch Reed that maybe fans wouldn't. Just loved him like a brother, you know. I don't think you can say any more. Everyone knows about his skills in the ring, mm -hmm. but I'm speaking about who the man he was, right? To me, mm -hmm. outside the ring, you know. He taught me a lot starting out and was just like a big brother to me. It's, that's one of the great things about these new documentaries on the network, too, yeah. them showing the camaraderie behind the scenes. That was always uh, off limits to everybody for so long, yeah. so it's cool to see that stuff now. Uh, Fernando in Voorhees, New Jersey. Fernando. Right, let's hook up Fernando, right? There you go, Fernando. Start to get some north of the border. We got Cole Payne, Cole in Canada. Cole. Oh, all right, Cole, there you go. James Spagnolo in Deerfield, New York. He wants the signature. All right, let's hook James first up. First black man. champion, Dan. There you go. Did All you right. know in 1992? I know you said that you found out the day of, but did you know? Wow, I'm going to be the first black world champion. Was no, that, the, that wasn't but even no, something no, on your mind. No one. I had that. I did that, that. Well, it was unscripted, you know. Yeah. Right. You know. Right. So it just won't. That was something that just happened. Like the Undertaker you, streak. It just happened, just bro. Kept, that's right. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, no idea about that. That's you know, awesome. But it turns out that was one of the best things for me and for a lot of people. No. And for the business. You there know? you go. Yeah. Certainly left its mark. And I love seeing the, the footage of that from the, the people just losing their minds. There was that one kid in the front row who started doing like jumping jacks. He was so excited. Just great to see that stuff. Friend Nathan up next from Sparks, Nevada. Good luck on your weight loss journey. I'm on one myself. I don't know, maybe Mr. Simmons can rub this on his chest a little for good luck. There you go, Nathan. All right, Nathan, let's hook you up, man. Don't forget, guys, 80swrestlingcon.com. We're here with Mr. Simmons till 10 p.m., but from 10 p.m. till midnight Eastern go, tonight. Man. 20% off every signing coming up. And that full list is at 80swrestlingcon.com. Next Monday, we're going to be here back to back. We got Powers of Pain, Wendy Richter on March 8th, March 22nd, Bob Orton, also with Craig DeGeorge on March 22nd. We got that ECW Original Extreme signing on April 19th. Lots of names for that. Stan Hansen, April 26th. We got a whole list, 80swrestlingcon.com. Check it out. 20% off from 10 p.m. till midnight tonight on all of the future signings. Right now, Craig Wilbur in Windsor, Vermont. Craig Wilbur. Great. All right, Andy Hammerlink in St. Paul, Minnesota. Andy Hammerlink. Yeah, hey, Andy. Michael Dove asks, uh, do you have a Got toughest it. opponent? I know you guys always talk about how you like to lay it in and get it back. <laughs> But do you have somebody who stands out in mind as your toughest opponent where you were like, oh, man, I have to work that guy tonight? <laughs> no, well, actually, no, because I've tried to go into each one, you know, with the same mindset, you know. But however, I can say uh, in a tag team uh, division that I did mostly enjoy uh, working in there with guys who like to work my, our style the way we did, you know. When I was with Butch with the Steiner Brothers, yeah. you know, of course, and the Road Warriors, right. And, of course, with John, you know, uh, there was multiple guys, yeah. guys we could work with there. The Hordies, my God, the Dudley Boys, yeah. things of that nature. I'm watching, I'm watching those yeah. fights at the Friendly Tap, even outside the ring. Yeah. They're like, oh, my God, they just legit punched each other in the face. <laughs> Brett Miller in Wisconsin. Brett. All right, let's hook Brett up.
All right, we got Elijah Melton, nearby Newark, New Jersey. Elijah. Okay, let's take care of Elijah. There you go, buddy. This is for Angie in Piscataway, another great nation of domination photo. Uh, one of the questions that was asked earlier, and I, I apologize because several people asked it, but uh, whose idea was it for the nation of domination? Was that something that creative had come to you with, or were you pitching that idea yourself? Well, no, actually, I, was, I wasn't, I was right? I think, though, um, uh, maybe someone had heard, overheard me talking about you know, some of my views or something on something, right? Mm -hmm. And plus, also, wanting to get the other guys involved in something. So, and I think that they kind of like saw this faction, you know, coming together with the ideas of what I was probably speaking on their locker room. Yeah. And, and we kind of just got together to talk about it and that's how it basically came to fruition. And what's amazing about it, from a fan's perspective, every member of the Nation of Domination went on to do something Absolutely. completely different. Absolutely. Like they weren't known as, oh, this one was right. a horseman or a DS member. Like they all went on and forged their own path, which is really unheard of. Oh, that's that's the best part about it, you know. You know but obviously, you know, everyone knows of Rocky, but Godfather, D'Lo, uh, Mark Henry, everyone, you know, yeah. that went on to do absolutely great in their own absolutely, single thing, absolutely. You know? Hopefully, we'll get that Nation of Domination documentary coming yeah. up eventually on the network. <clears throat> Emil Menard, another uh, '80s wrestling con regular, Emil in Worcester, Mass. Right, let's hook up with me. This one is to Zeke in Colorado. Zeke Vigil. All right, let's Jr. take care of Zeke, man. And I said Zeke Virgil Jr. Zeke Vigil. Jr. Oh, I was about to say if that's just Virgil, well, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to pay now Virgil to, to sign this photo. <laughs> You're right. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> and believe me, he charged me full price. This <laughs> <laughs> is for Brandon Sims. In Huntersville, North Carolina. All right, let's take care of Brent. <laughs> Kyle Uito uh, with a comment and question. This was actually something I wanted to ask later. He's talking about how he loved the Farouk Assad gladiator helmet. Did Kyle buy anything? What's that? Did Kyle buy anything? I don't know. Well, well, well. <laughs> Kyle, we can't answer that question for you. He's paying you compliments, <laughs> though, so that's the count. Yeah, something. that is. He's saying he wished they would have went with the Farouk character a little longer. And I loved your attitude about it, about how, you know, you just took the gimmick and you ran with it. Was there any preparation? A lot of method uh, what, He's speaking of which one? The, the Farouk early Assad, stages? The uh, Gladiator. Right, the Gladiator. Yeah. Right? yeah. The Blue Hill. Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. And what was, yeah. it, what, what was it? Well, he's just it? saying how he wished that it, it went a little longer. And my question, especially after watching mm -hmm. the WWE Network documentary, was, was there any type of studying that you did to get into that role? That no, actually, uh, I, I just remember, right, when they were approaching me with that idea, mm -hmm. okay? Now, this is me just getting there, mm -hmm. all right? Now, you know, just get my foot in the door. Everybody's excited, you know, WWF, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when the, the idea was first thrown in front of me, and I looked at it, I've got to tell you, brother, my insides turned. I can believe it. Okay, when I looked at that, I my God, a blue helmet, me? I'm a two-time All-American. Heisman Trophy candidate. I can't wear that. And a former world, a former world <laughs> champion. Heisman Trophy candidate. Okay, as a nose guard, right? But here's the thing about that that I love the most about it, and I'm glad that it was, that it came before me. As I've told a lot of kids before, right? Challenges you want to take on. That's what makes you better, okay? I said, well, now I'm, I've got this character, okay? Which in some some ways with the joke, even when, if you're laughing there and the, and the guy's in the locker room, then we know what's going to happen when you get out there in front of the audience. Absolutely. Because what happens in the locker room is the real portrayal of what will probably take place out, you know, in the arena. But when it was thrown in front of me, I said, okay, I've got it now. Let me do my homework on this and let me make this work, okay? And that's exactly what I did. And from that point on, everything else got better for me. Absolutely. Okay? Because I took the time to make it work and put the work in. You know, so hey, when challenges are thrown before you, you think you don't like it, trust me, sometimes it can be a blessing. And then eventually they'll come to you and say, we want you to drink beer on TV. Be there you go. It's called paying dues. Yep. This one is for, for free. 
<laughs> this one is for Grant in Eureka, Missouri. Right. Grant. Right, let's take care of Grant. That's a good question, too, man. Thanks. Yeah, that was from Kyle. Again, guys, the, the chat's coming through so fast, so pardon me yeah, if I are. don't get to everybody. Sean McBride in Illinois. Sean right. McBride. Well, Mr. Simmons is doing that. 80swrestlingcon.com. Don't forget, we're here with Mr. Simmons till 10 p.m., but from 10 p.m. till midnight, if you order anything for the future signings at 80swrestlingcon.com, it's going to be 20% off from every signing. And we have both. Uh, do we own. have to do that? Well, that's we not for you. Get, oh. You're paid. Uh, okay. At least I believe. That's Full price, know. right? I, well, don't talk to me. Yeah. All right, I got Full. you. It's okay. Yeah, you're good. All right. I'm going to have to have my bodyguard, Vicious Vicky, come over yeah. here in a minute, so just calm down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so is it full price? Dan from Canada. Dan All right, let's take from care, Dan. Canada. Here we go, Dan. This is for David in Illinois. He wants it signed to Mr. M Y S T E E R. I'm going to let you decide. Uh, yeah, I mean, what, yeah, what's really going on? Now, I don't know what the gimmick is there. You know, Illinois. Yeah, yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then it's even a mystery about the mystery. <laughs> yeah. right? No idea. Okay, and it's from David? <laughs> yeah. Just too Mr. Like yeah. That's it. Yeah. Jaden Effenberger was always my favorite on WCW oh, yeah. Saturday nights. Mister. All right, now this picture is from e Matt Gabriel. Oh. Matt Gabriel in Davenport, okay. Florida. Uh, and uh, you're going to sign for Mr. Gabriel, but that brought me to a question from Kenny Braun, who says, yes, I bought something. So he wanted to clear that up. Oh, okay. He goes, yes, I bought something. <laughs> Do you have any Ric Flair stories? I know everybody does. No, only this. Probably and perhaps, okay, up to this point, and I don't think it'll ever be the best that there has been or probably will be. Yeah. In ring wrestling, okay? That's what I've got to say. That's all unbelievable. Okay. Period. And that's what I, whenever I watch you do an interview, I always love the enthusiasm about when you talk about these guys. Ric like Flair the thrill. Said, Damn. <laughs> the thrill of you getting to perform with them. Like, you never stop being a fan. I think that's awesome. Oh, no, you have to stay that way, brother. That keeps you going. Yep. There we go. Adam Hopkins, Sacramento, California. Let's look at him up. There we go, Adam. I'm going to ask this, and I'm actually ashamed that I don't remember this. Craig Southall wants to know, was the Fink the best member of the APA? Why don't I remember that? Was the Fink ever involved with the APA? The Fink? The Fink Howard Finkel. Did he ever do any APA skits? Uh, I can well, you know what? He did, actually. We did have him involved in uh, <laughs> That's awesome. And, and, and maybe one or two of them. Oh, right, yeah. You know? <laughs> well, well, a great, great guy, though, man. Uh, I really, I'm really, wonderful. really loved that one, man. Everyone did. You know, right. Great guy. Dr. Patrick Oscos in North Arlington, New Jersey. There you go, Dr. All right, Doctor. Dr. Doctor want that? Uh, yeah, we support mm -hmm. mental health awareness. Doctor. All right, Alan Kennedy in Guy, Arkansas. All right. Signature and dab. Don't forget, guys, 80swrestlingcon.com. After we're done with Mr. Simmons tonight from 10 p.m. till midnight, 20% off all future signings. We have so many great ones coming up. Monday night virtual. It's not just 80s wrestling stars, as you can tell right now. We have a man who blazed a path throughout the 90s. There we and go, 2000s. Alan. 
but 80swrestlingcon.com is still the site. So this one is for Terry Heckman in Springdale, Pennsylvania. All right. Uh, TJ is how we'd like it. All signs. right, Terry, let's take care, everybody. Angelo Rossi in West Haven, Connecticut. Guys, a, a couple of you in the chat are saying I asked a question already. We understand, but it is very busy. We have to get the signings done first. Once again, this is not a shoot interview, so just please be patient. I'm going to try to get to as many questions as we can, but again, it's not a shoot interview. So if you have any comments or memories you'd like to share, I'll gladly read them out loud. Angelo Rossi in West Haven, Connecticut. Angelo Rossi. Garrett Took says, I'd pay full price for a Ron Simmons autograph any day of the week. Well, you can go to 80swrestlingcon.com right now and get that order. But when we're done here with Mr. Simmons tonight, when we're done here with Mr. Simmons tonight, from 10 p.m. till midnight, 20% off all future signings. Cole in Deptford, New Jersey. Cole. Lots of Jersey representing tonight. Lots of hometown. That's why when we can get back to regular conventions, yeah, yeah, it's going to yeah. be a great thing. There you go, my man. Gino Fellini in Mashpee, Massachusetts. All right. Gino Fellini. Don't forget, guys, to utilize that 20% off from 10 to midnight. The code is MNV at your checkout. Okay. Monday Night Virtual. MNV. Garrett Tooks in Dothan, Alabama. All right, Garrett. Garrett, my man. Michael Federico asks, how did the damn catchphrase start? Just that just was covered in out. the yeah, WWE yeah. Network documentary. So go check that out. It's called APA Untold. All these great documentaries now done in the style of an ESPN 30 for 30. So check well, that out yeah, if you're on the WWE both. Network. William Perruque Evans, these were a lot of fun also. Thank you. Thank you for participating. Without you guys, these are not possible. This is for Gene in Iowa. Gene in Iowa. Just that. Just signature. Just your signature. All right. Eric Winderman in Pennsylvania. Eric Winderman. All right. Let's take care of Eric here. For that one, I think he wants two Eric on a. Does he? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah he wants two Eric. We're, trying, we're still getting the hang of this, guys. It's coming at us rapid fire, but we're going to make sure everybody gets what they need oh, and yeah. correctly done. Good. So do not worry. We're having some fun. It's Monday night. Here we got to Ty Battle. Ty Battle. Doesn't say All where right. he's from, Let's but there you go, Ty Battle. Michael Romero, San Diego, California. Just the signature on that one. Uh, to answer your question, Dan Gregory, the big photo is not for sale tonight. The big photo on the wall. But we will have a live auction coming up later on with a pair of Ron Simmons signed wrestling boots, as well as a signed football. Yeah. So stick around for that auction. Oh, once we get wow. Through. Now we're getting business. somewhere with the football, huh? Yeah, i got to yeah. practice my auctioneer voice. So <laughs> Angelique in California, Menifee, California. This is to the Chappelle I don't think any relation to Dave, because it's spelled differently, but to the Chappelle yeah, family. It'd be a lot higher if it was for Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it was for Dave, that would be a $300. Mm -hmm. Aaron Sanzada, yeah, we just talked about that. The WCW title win is one of the most emotional and powerful pops ever filmed. Seeing the fans crying with joy is incredible. There we are, man. Thank you. I and imagine, I agree. I couldn't imagine that feeling. Oh, in the room. No, at the, at, as we were speaking earlier, mm -hmm. right, about that being a real moment. That I, I probably the realest moment I think within the last, I'm sure, 50 years in this business because it was real. Yeah. Okay, and you can tell from the reaction mm -hmm. of it, you know. And for me personally, uh, I, 
and this is no lie, at least once a month I go back and look at it. And each time yeah. it's the same film. Still get the chills. The same film. I, I, especially you know? too because Vader was such a monster. You were like, right. who's going to beat this guy? Right. And I remember they were pushing you, they and were he, talking about the United States title mm -hmm. for a while, and then it was just boom. Right, and he did a fantastic job coming in and doing and working with me and doing business. Yeah. Okay? Right. So, and a great friend of mine, and remained friends throughout the year. Yeah. And what a finish that was, too, because back then, WCW was more athletic-based, so it's mm -hmm. like you caught him with a power slam. Right. One, two, three, he got up. Well, yeah, and, 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 and which is even better, yeah. okay? It, 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 out of the blue, mm -hmm. you understand me yeah. right? Yeah, which even was even better and, and, and during that period of time, you know, right? And, you know, which was a, a feat in itself because he's a large man. <laughs> 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 when, the, when the adrenaline wears off, uh, yeah. right? Lisa, Lisa Jacobson to Lisa. All right, let's take care of Lisa. There we go. Thank you. All right, this is Chi K in Maryland right. to C H I K E. Right. I want it. Chi K. Everyone's got gimmick names. It's very confusing to me. So I Everybody's in the business. Right? <laughs> Everyone's a star. We were talking about that earlier. <laughs> Doug Reeder. I love the guests on here. I love this. 80s wrestling. Yeah, Thank you all. Thank you, Doug. Yeah, right. Okay, now we're switching to red. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's... Is there a difference with paint? Red. I'll let you handle the markers. Yeah, I don't want to... Right. We'll use that. Darren's very on top of things. He, he's always looking out. I... All right, so this is for Tad, T-A-D, as in win a date with Tad Hamilton. Tad Graville in <laughs> Stephen the, City, Virginia. Did, did you say what? There was that movie, Win a Date oh, with Tad Oh, I Hamilton. thought I was not going to sign that. No, 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 date no. That was a cheesy Yeah, I just want to make sure you clear that up for me. I okay, know, right. I promise. I promise you. Yeah. That, that's not, that, that yeah, could okay. be an auction for later, yeah. uh, Win a Date with Ron Simmons. Right. Bubba John, I was there live. I'm 41 okay. now. I was born yeah, 13 when Bubba John was From UK, finally we're going overseas. We got George, which actually there were a bunch of questions before, and I think George asked one of them. Okay. Do you have any uh, memories that stand out from wrestling in the United Kingdom? Oh, after, well, what, the main thing is that, uh, the enthusiasm from the fans. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Because reaction is differently right. wherever you mm -hmm. travel, right? Yeah. But man, they really love it. Yeah, they love the wrestling over there. And you it's, know, we, we've discussed and this, it, and it gives you a different. It, it gives you a different feeling when you're working in the ring. You know, it gives wow. you you want to go on and perform and give it your best. You know, absolutely love performing. Over there. That's awesome. Yeah, we said a couple weeks ago too with, on one of the other signings where it's like here in New Jersey, especially. I feel like we've been spoiled. You could go to Madison Square Garden. You could go to Philly. You could go to New Jersey see wrestling. Over in Europe, when WWE comes to town, I mean that is a big deal. George. All right, this one's to Maddie in Portland, Oregon. To right. Maddie. Here we are, Maddie. All right, this is to Fabio in Italy. Fabio in Italy. Fabio. All right, Fabio. My best damn Italian fan. Fabio wants red, eh? Don't forget, guys, we're here till 10 o'clock with Mr. Simmons. Get those orders in now at 80swrestlingcon.com. And then from 10 p.m. till midnight, following the signing on that website, 80swrestlingcon.com, you're going to get 20% off every signing we have from now to the end of the July. And the kickoff of Monday Night Virtual is tonight. The code is MNV at checkout. So make sure you go visit 80swrestlingcon.com to get your order in now yeah, and for the future you. signings at 10 p.m. This one is to Wes in Bowling Green, All right, Kentucky. let's take care of Wes. GK in Randallstown, Maryland. Oh, GK again, eh? <laughs> All right, let's do it, GK. Baby. Keep them coming, GK. Here we 
Yeah, buddy. Emil Bernard says, my son, who's 11, enjoys watching Ron's matches from all eras on the WWE Network. That has to be the biggest trip for you. It is. These fans that... It is. And I, I get a lot of, you know, letters in the mail, right? Yeah. Uh, with the dads, you know, watching them, the network with the kids now, right? You know, and I love to hear that. That's awesome. You know, passing it on like that and them really getting to see, you know, some of the earlier stages of wrestling, right? Yeah. So they can understand more of how it evolved and and what to look going moving forward. Yeah, because my first memory of you was going for the WCW World Championship. I had no idea what Doom was, mm -hmm. and it was only about a year before, because mm -hmm. back then you didn't have the internet right. and all that. Right. You had the Aftermax. Right. That was it. So it is pretty cool to be able to see people get to relive all those moments. This is for Richard in Langston, Alabama. All right. That's who Rich is. Oh, yeah. Rich is my man. Okay. Go Nose. Okay. That's right. So we're going to take a break from the red. I was just told okay. to do this one for blue. Uh, just for this one, Florida, New York. Heather, Heather in Florida, New York. I bet it's Florida, not feeling like Florida York, right? in New York right now. Boy, that's enough <laughs> to make you get up and get angry, right? <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> Let's take care of Heather, man. I'll Maybe this will warm you up. <laughs> <laughs> what, do they grow oranges? I don't think so. I'll be in the real yeah. Florida next week. I'm really yeah. looking forward to it. I didn't even know there was a party in New York. Uh, yeah. Right, you know. yeah. Well, that's enough to really make you say damn. <laughs> <You know? laughs> All right. Jen and Rob and Selmo in Riverbank, California. They just want the signature and Doom number one. All that's right, yeah. That's 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 sure. Oh, that's yeah. red. I'm sorry. Uh, that's red. That's my fault. Right? Yeah, no, no, Stick on, stay yeah. on top of that. Just the signature, though, right? Get it? Just the signature, right? Yeah. Just a signature and a paragraph. Yeah. <laughs> a paragraph? Yeah. yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. Well, you know what? I got to put down this the best damn wrestler. I can do that. There you go. You know? Once you sign it, it's it's solidified. Anthony D. Simone. Mm. Uh, red? That is red, yes. Let me get that blue out of the way. I was waiting until we got to this photo right here because as a kid growing up as a wrestling fan, before the Attitude Era, a lot of people would give you some guff about it. But then when you would mention the name Ron Simmons, they would always talk about your college football yeah. achievements. So here's the man right here. This one's for Cody Murphy in Ohio. Just the signature and two-time All-American, 1979. Yeah, Cody's a serious fan, though, you know, and this really goes back and brings back some memories. You know, yeah, thanks for that, buddy. That's really good, real cool. Uh, it wants red, huh? Let's, let's hook him up. a lot of camaraderie too because I mean so many guys from that era had played college football oh well yeah you know but that really means a lot though you know when you see those because it instantly puts you back yeah in that spot you know and, and in that position yeah that's awesome yeah <clears throat> so I get a really big kick out of this I think more than they do you know yeah. <laughs> that's awesome Marcus Harrison in Richmond Virginia. Was the plan, do you remember always for them to focus on talking about your football career, or was that a lot of Jim Ross? Because Jim Ross being the big college football fanatic. Right. Well, mostly I think he had a lot to do with it, yeah. right? And, and plus, you know, Dusty, mm. you know, big, big football fan himself, mm. you know, back with WCW and WA, right? So, you know, that's obviously what I came in under. So, you know, we just kind of kept it going yeah. with that, you know, right? But 
but I enjoyed all of it. You know? That's great. Now we got Brian in Indianapolis, uh, Indiana. Brian. Right. Don't forget, guys, Monday Night Virtual. We got next week the powers of pain. You put your on the bottom of this one. Warlord okay. and Barbarian. It's going to be cool to be sitting next to Barbarian. Of course, you may remember the Halloween Havoc WCW Thank World you. Title main event. This man defending against the Barbarian. So well, there's some great matches with him, too. I, I remember Bar, the promo right. when they had him crush the <clears throat> pumpkin. It was supposed to be your head. Yeah. <laughs> they put the headband on it. And Zach in Troy, New York. Zach. Right. Blue. Oh, blue. I'm sorry. We're on the blues now. Now we're on blues. Okay. Let's see. Rob Tear, Ryan is the man. Good day from down under. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate that. I don't know if your flag is making an appearance tonight, is it? Yeah, is that? <laughs> uh, you know, well, That's the other fun thing, too. Buddy. Some of these people send in their memorabilia, and they want every guy to sign it. So some of us have been sitting for a week, so that's always cool to see. We're going to probably see some of that in just a little bit. Michael Clary in Fulton, New York. All right. What's the signature on your signature is. Okay. Brendan, uh, you're asking about Vader. He just talked about Vader a few minutes ago, said they were very good friends, uh, even after that title match. So 80swrestlingcon.com, the full three-hour video from this will be available in the next couple days. So any questions that we don't get to tonight, they may have been answered already. So check that out, 80swrestlingcon.com. This is for Danny Hutton, also in the United Kingdom. All right. Just signature, blue. Okay. Danny. Blue? Yep. Just signature. Sure about that, Danny. Okay. All right, we got Joe Narvaez in Torrance, California. He wants to sign 2L Joe, first black champion, Hall of Fame 2012. Kyle, who asked a question earlier and said, I did buy, he wasn't lying, because here he is. Kyle in Ohio. To Kyle. All right. There you go. <laughs> 80swrestlingcon.com. We're here at Mr. Simmons till 10 o'clock. Get those hey, orders in before we shut down the online store. Don't forget, 10 p.m. till midnight. 20% off every signing from now till the end of July. So make sure you take advantage of that. The promo code for that is going to be MVC at your checkout. So make sure you check that out. Daniel Clemens in Alabama. All right, this is a tough day. Here we go, Daniel. Travis Babcock's asking uh, your memories of working with The Undertaker, I guess, during the Ministry oh, of Darkness. Fantastic. Yeah. Talk about another gimmick, though, that they didn't even tell you what it was. Mm -hmm. I remember watching the documentary. They're like, oh, we're just drawing symbols on ourselves, but you made it work. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, once again, you know, another transition. But that that one, it wasn't as challenging, you know, because that was an absolute joy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, hey, you know, to get, and, and besides, to get to work with the Undertaker. Absolutely. You know, right, yeah, you know. And that was some really uh, ahead-of-its-time stuff, the Ministry of Darkness. Yeah, was dealing yeah, with. yeah. Talk about pushing the envelope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeff in California, Jeff Daco. See right. Jeff, go yes, Florida. So Jeff, uh, right? Okay. To Mark Dan. Yeah. To Mark. Here we go. 
How many times are you just like out to dinner though with family or whatever and people just start yelling damn from across the restaurant? Oh, I get it all the time, man. <laughs> in, in the airport, listen. And even from sometimes from, you know, Cliff Kid. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, most of it are like this, right? From the younger people. Hey. Isn't that that damn guy? Oh, that's awesome. And the parents want to yell until they look up and see it. Like, right. yeah. It's my fault. I had yeah. the wrestling on. Yeah, it's that damn guy, man. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Adam Pop in Michigan City, Indiana. Adam Pop, to Adam. All right. We're really burning through these tonight, but make sure you guys stick around because we're going to have that live auction later on, but you can still get those orders in, 80swrestlingcon.com. After this signing, 20% off all future signings from now until the end of July. Code is MNV, so make sure you check that out. Aaron in Canada. All right, Aaron. here we go. Let's look up, Aaron. I always love to take care of my Canadian brothers and sisters. Wrestling Kings wants to know if they can get Vicious Vicky's autograph. Ask Tommy Fierro. Ask, uh, or Vicky. I don't, I don't know how that would work, but Wrestling Kings. Vicky, you're being asked I'm for... I'm sure we can work it out. Uh, yeah. You know. Uh, Vicente Garcia from Grand Canyon, Arizona, but he wants it signed to Andy. Okay. There you go. Shannon McCoy is talking about your bad blood in your house match for the Intercontinental Championship against Owen Harsh. Is that wow. It? Man. That's, yes. that's a memory. Really? Which leads me, really? I, I, I yeah, ask oh, every person <laughs> this, do you have man, any Owen Harsh stories, man. any ribs? Yeah, well, God, he was, that's all he was. Okay, just a walking rib, all right? But you weren't the victim of that, right? uh, Some of them. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah and, and, you know, and the good thing about it is that he was so good at it, all right? because you, you would have sworn it wasn't a prank because it was so serious <laughs> with them, you know. But he was a guy that, the man, you could be on your worst day of having it, right? Absolutely brighten it up. Wow. Yeah, I, I mean, everyone loved it. Mike Rotunda okay? told us a story. Everyone. Mike Rotunda told us a story two weeks ago about the Vatican where he made Rene, Rene Goulet <laughs> believe that his wallet had gotten stolen by some <laughs> passerby and they were about to attack him, and he had to pull him off. And it seems like a lot of those ribs, it would always get to that point where someone was about to get beat up, and then no one would step in. He was absolutely, he was the best at it, okay? Yeah, man, he, he, he could brighten it, like I said, he could brighten your day, your worst day up. JB, JB. All right, two JB, eh? All right, 
right, Dallas Eisenreich in Rockford, Illinois, to Dallas, Hall of Fame 2012. Well, Mr. Simmons is doing that, guys. We have a bunch of great signings coming up next weekend. I'm not next weekend. Next Monday, we're going to be here with the Powers of Pain. March 8th, Wendy Richter. March 22nd, Craig DeGeorge and Cowboy Bob Orton. April 19th, we have that extreme signing with all the ECW originals. April 26th, Stan Hansen. May 10th, Ken Patera. May 17th, Eric Rowan. May 17th, Darren Young, old buddy of mine. Looking forward to seeing him. May 24th, Nikita Koloff. June 7th, The Rock and Roll Express. June wow. 21st, The Head Shrinkers. June 28th, Badass Billy Gunn. July 5th, Tyrus, formerly known as Brodus Clay. And July 26th, Man of a Thousand Holds, Dean Malenko. That is quite the lineup. And, and 10 all of my friends. Every single one. Every one. There you go. You should just keep coming back and hanging oh, out. Man. Are your next couple of That's Mondays free? great, you know. Just keep I could just come here and just sit here and just enjoy the show. Out. Just keep coming, hang on. No right. yeah. yeah. There you go. All right, Dennis Grinnell, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. How are you doing, Dennis? He's another regular. All right. Each and every one of these signings. Richard Eagle, I love when him and JBL took public enemy to school. That was one of those matches that I always tell people when they say, ah, oh, wrestling's fake. Watch that one. And then tell me how fake you think it is. Bill in Warwick, Rhode Island. Bill. All right, let's hook Bill up. Oh, they're mingling over there. What's going on? There's a lot that goes on off camera for those of you that are watching at home. We have to make sure everybody's signatures are correct. So if you notice a little bit of a lull, that's what's going on. David Azzolino. In Don't want to cheat no more. <laughs> David in Malden, Massachusetts. I skip over a lot of questions, but there's one that I think uh, is pretty good here. Justin Maynard says, Ron, who is a current WWE superstar that reminds you of yourself, if any? Are there anybody that reminds you of a young Ron Simmons? You know what? I've been watching and looking at it, right? And I, at this stage, not yet. Okay. Yeah, because I see a lot of promise in a lot of them. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I don't think I'm ready to crown one yet. All right. Okay? All right. Not yet. Okay, and I'm sure he'll be able to let us know eventually. Yeah. Here we go, Liam Evans in the UK, Liam. But however, I do see a lot of great talent. Yeah, there is. Right? Yeah. There's so much access now to, to different wrestlers and stuff like that too. I mean, it's, it's just grown so much. I mean, when I turn on the WWE Network and I see indies from Europe that I didn't even know existed, the game has definitely changed. Here we got another one of the old Florida State pictures. This one is for Patrick in Westlake, Ohio. And actually, uh, Ryan, this is Cleveland. Oh, okay. Browns. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. That, that, that's uh, like, I believe, probably second week with, uh, with the Cleveland Browns. Wow. Yeah. You know. And that was a candid photo. I'm assuming you didn't know that the picture was going to be taken. Looks like you're I, I mid flex or just no. getting up. But they did kiss me at the right moment, you know, <laughs> where, you know, I could flex that 22 on them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I usually. Oh, and have it didn't to, hurt. It didn't hurt for after practice. <laughs> right. You know. I have to be warned of photos, so I know to suck my belly in. It must be nice to have never had that problem. All right. Oh yeah. I don't want to embarrass you, but are you still working out? Just enough to get out of bed. <laughs> that is it. Okay? Right. right. How, how far uh, after Look, I put all, answer. Ron Simmons has put in all of his workout days. Okay? okay? Yeah. Right. And my body has served me well for what I needed it to do. It's time for it to rest. All right? It gets me up, right? Puts me back in the bed. That's, okay? that's what you need. Yeah. David Parker. <laughs> David Carter in the UK, David. All right, let's take care of David. Guys, don't forget this full three hour signing will be available on the 80s Wrestling Con right, website Dave. in the next couple of days. So, a lot of the questions that are being asked, we've already covered, so please feel free to check that out. Matt Stevens. 
Taylor's, South Carolina, right. just two men. Let's hook up men. Also, I'm not kidding when I tell you that WWE un Untold documentary on the network is phenomenal. It's about the accolades. They cover a lot about Ron Singles' career as well as Bradshaw's. So make sure you check that out. A lot of questions you're asking will be answered on that. Colt Campbell in Uniontown, Pennsylvania. Colt Campbell. All right. Justin Young, what price is we talking? 80swrestlingcon.com, it's all there. And then at 10 o'clock tonight, all the future signings, 20% off with the MNV code. So check that out. Nick in Bridgewater, Massachusetts. All right, let's hook me up. All right, Lisa, but it's two Raymond. All Lisa, right. so two so Raymond. Giving Raymond an early present. There you go. Yeah. Or maybe she forgot Valentine's Day and this oh, is making well, up for her. Yeah. Great way to do it, huh? <laughs> Robert Love in Alameda, California to Robert. WWE. Well, see, Robert already had the perfect uh, Valentine's gift look. <laughs> <laughs> right. There you Love. go. Michael Dio is asking about magazines that are left. Yeah, 80s Wrestling Conduct, or is that on the Wrestling Collector website, Tommy? The magazines. Which website? Are they on the 80s Wrestling Con.com? Uh, no, they're, they're, they're being featured. They're being sold in the future. They're being. Two of them will be on auction tonight. We're going to be auctioning off two of the WCW magazines tonight, uh, Michael, so make sure you stick around for that. Uh, Jeremy in Ohio. To right. Jeremy. Let's hook up Jeremy. Carlos in the Philippines. Carlos, but he wants it to Carlito from Manila. To Carlito from Manila. Speaking of in shape and working out, Carlito just returned to WWE. That was inspiring. Is that what he wants on there? Um, yeah. And then you sign it. Okay. Adam Barney in New York to Adam Dam. Okay. That's the great thing about having a one-word catchphrase. When you have to sign, Love it. it makes it very quick. You know, for Money Inc., it was everybody's got a price. Pay your taxes. Mouth of the yeah, now see, that's, that's really when the word comes in. Okay, I, I want you to just tell me if there isn't anyone that that's of age that pays taxes that does not. <laughs> so when they look at that and say. Damn, okay. Right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, not a man or woman that has ever paid taxes has not. Yeah, right? especially now with everyone yeah. on unemployment. I mean, they realize they got to give that unemployment yeah. tax money back. Well, that, that's just me. I'm projecting. I apologize. And I'm sure there's been a couple that has even changed the word. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> yeah, it's the non PG, it's the attitude uh, it, error yes. version of the word. Uh, Joseph in Cross River, New York. He wants it too big, Joe. All right. Big Joe. Oh, big joke. All right, this we're switching to black now. All right, there we go. Another one of our '80s wrestling con Monday night virtual regulars, Lowell Reed in Middleburg, Florida, to Lowell. Right. To Lowell. Kyle, the big poster in the back is not for sale tonight, but we do have some great stuff we're going to be auctioning off later. We've got some signed wrestling boots, some WCW magazines, also some signed footballs. Tonight, the picture is not for sale. Richard Lambert in West Virginia. All to right. Richard. Let's hook up Rich. Craig Southall just ordered. Welcome aboard, 80swrestlingcon.com. Get those orders in, and then when we're done here tonight at 10 o'clock, all the signings from now to the end of July, 20% off every signing. Use that code MNV for Monday Night Virtual. This is Jesse in Canada. Right, Jesse. Let's hook Jesse up, man. Okay. 
Marshall Hodge, Marshall in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Oh yeah, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Marshall. Love going to Murfreesboro. All right. Yeah. So called Marshall. Have you ever wrestled in Puerto Rico? That was a quick question. Uh, yeah, a couple of times, yeah. right? Way back, long time. See, they actually yeah. said, why didn't he ever come to Puerto Rico? Well, I didn't know if you had. Wait, so hold, hold on, no, that was, I mean, not, not in San Juan. San Juan. Actually, Puerto I Puerto think Rico. I did once, okay. I believe. Right. Yeah, that's Carlos yeah. Colon, right? Yeah. San Juan. Uh, well, no, not, not, not Carlos. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. I think it's crossed over there, and it had to be, I'm not sure who it was for. You know, right, but once. Well, yeah. so the fans are more knowledgeable than I am, yeah. apparently. I thought I was pretty But not, no, not for Carlos. Okay. No. So the Queller family, Queller, uh, so it's Lisa Queller, but it's to the Queller family, California. Okay. Javon, I believe yours already came up. We did a Javon already. Answering your question in the chat. Little dot up there. It'll try up here. Yeah, it should be. Brian Lanziri. Brian in Andover, Connecticut. To Brian. Danny, the magazines are going to be part of the auction later on tonight. It's probably about 9:45 or so. Once we get through all the photos and great memorabilia that's here. Emil Menard in Worcester, Massachusetts. Emil, a uh, regular. I know Emil will probably be involved in that auction later. He had quite a showdown. I forget the other gentleman's name two weeks ago, but that was exciting to be a part of. Uh, Sly in Illinois. Sly Fitzenko. Sly. Sly Dan. Anthony D. Simone, I really cherish this show. We cherish having you, Anthony. You guys make it possible. 80swrestlingcon.com, all upcoming signings. This is for Ryan in Forest Hill, Maryland. Right. Just signature, it's but it. also <laughs> that stuff as well. Wanna, uh, is that what he's wanting? Or is I guess he just doesn't want to personalize, so he wants your signature, A292. And he wants the dates on there, May's history. It's just your signature, date, that date. He's just three verse faders. Okay. While that's going he on, guys. That too, or is he saying that? No, he wants everything that's on. Oh, okay. Yeah. 80swrestlingcon.com for all the upcoming signings. Powers of Pain next week, March 8th, Wendy Richter, March 22nd, Bob Orton, and Craig DeGeorge. The ECW Extreme signing. Got quite a few names for that, so check that out on 80swrestlingcon.com. Stan Hansen, April 26th. Ken Patera, May 10th. Eric Rowan, May 17th. Darren Young, May 17th. Nikita Koloff, May 24th. Rock and Roll Express. Really looking forward to seeing Ricky and Robert. It's been a few years. That's on June 7th. June 21st, The Head Shrinkers. June 28th, Billy Gunn. July 5th, Tyrus, formerly known as Brodus Clay. And July 26th, huh? Dean <laughs> Malenko. That's great. Here we got Jeremy in Painesville, Ohio. Jeremy. All right, that's a good job. Ivan Hidalgo in Kissimmee, Florida. All right, Ivan. It is Ivan, right? Yes. Did you say? Just your signature on it. Oh, okay. I'm trying yeah, to remember which one, but I was at an ECW oh, okay. pay-per-view in Kissimmee years ago. It was the Millennium Theater in Kissimmee. It was an ECW pay-per-view. I forget which one it was. That's how you know you're getting old. You can't even mark out properly anymore. Lowell Reed, damn, thanks Ron, great time once again. Thanks Ryan, thanks Tommy. Lowell, thank you. Anthony Hall in McDowell, Kentucky. He wants it to Anthony and Liam. All right. Chris Cooper in Roaring Spring, Pennsylvania. Very simple to the point. All Two right. Coop. Two Coop. Two Coop. Thank 
There we go, Coop. Larry Luttrell wants to know, other than Butch, Reed, or Bradshaw, do you have another favorite tag team partner, whether it be like a one-off or something? Oh, well, wow. I, I've had, and, and you know, which a lot of people probably don't know or do, several lot of tag team partners. My God, we can go even back to Eddie Gilbert, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Big Josh, you know, <laughs> even Diva okay. for a period of time was a partner. And, and, of course, you know, during the Nation of Domination, of course, I interchanged with, a, you know, mm -hmm. A lot of those guys doing it, right? Yeah. But over, over my course of my career, I've had you know several guys, you know, and I enjoy working with all of them. There you, you go. Know? Right. All right, Steve Wild in the United Kingdom. Steve Wild to Steve. Hey, all right. Guilty as charged. It was guilty as charged. Is the paper view? Yeah. Okay. What was it? Ninety nine. I think it came up. All right. Those were the days. <laughs> AdiesWrestlingCon.com. All those upcoming signings right. from now to the end of July. If you 10 p.m. to midnight tonight, use the code MNV at yeah, checkout. 20% yeah. off all it? those future yeah. signings. Yeah. No date. No, no date. Okay. Wade okay. Bates in Good. Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. To Wade. To right. Wade. Steve Maudlin wants to know any memories of working with the Iron Sheik in 1989. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's certain you, guys that always have. Yeah, how can you forget? Right? <laughs> oh, wow, man. Wow. Oh. I, I think probably the first guy that I think I've ever uh, encountered in the business, right? That was the same guy in the ring that he is out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. But hey. You know, what a lot of people don't know, he was a fantastic amateur yeah. oh. and Olympic wrestler, mm -hmm. okay? Right. As well as a very strong man, you know, yeah. on, 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 alongside that. Yeah. You know, yeah. When I was ring and a good friend. When I was ring announcing on the Indies in, like, the late 90s through mid-2000s, yeah. even then, I mean, mm -hmm. before, you know, then, then things took a, a turn for the worse as far as his body, but yeah. he was still doing the clubs. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, that's no joke. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's no joke. And, and, and which, by the way, you know, myself included and a lot of other guys, you know, were challenged to do that? No, it couldn't do it. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. You know, yeah. Oh. Eric Sims could do them, though. You always remind me. Yeah. You always remind me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Aragon in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Just signature. I'm sorry, I didn't really look at what no, it was. Just signature. Just the signature in the card. Okay. Yeah, they yeah, throw you off with just signature, then keep going. Right? Yep. Yeah. Vernon, that question was actually asked earlier, and Mr. Simmons answered it. He talked about uh, working with Joe C., who used to be a part of Kid Rock's entourage. So, uh, again, 80swrestlingcon.com in the next couple days, all of these interviews, not interviews, yeah, signings. That's yeah, the thing, they're not interviews, they're signings. This one will be up, as well as the full list the from the past. So make sure you check that out, 80swrestlingcon.com. Also, 10 p.m. to midnight tonight, 20% off every signing from now till the end of July. Use the code MNV. This is for Luis Hoyo in Round Rock, Texas. Another just signature and paragraph. I just read the questions the way that they're worded exactly. Mm -hmm. So this person might be assuming, I don't know. Sean Barton wants to know, what was your favorite fast food after a show? I don't know if you were a fast food guy. Depend uh, After the show? Yeah. Okay, depending on the state I was in. Because, you know, right after the show, probably like uh, two hours after the show and then after the Acolyte beers, Anything I could get my hands on. Wow. <laughs> okay, right. But mostly, uh, usually he and I uh, pretty much like to, we enjoy steaks. Okay. You know, yeah, we ate a lot of steak, man. Yeah. 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 You'd have to. I, mean, yeah. I couldn't imagine that. A lot of steaks. 
300 days on the road, yeah. 350 days on the road, whatever. How to maintain a yeah, physique lot of when you're eating. You got, you got to keep that up because I believe it's not a lot of people know. Alongside working out, you know, and, and particularly during uh, our times, you know, we did double shots. Yeah. You know, we did a lot of the, the double shots, you know, and for a lot of people out there, that's two shots a day, okay? Right, and you can drop a lot of weight. Yeah. Doing that, so you gotta, you got to get in there and get those carbs up and, and eat something that's gonna help you keep that weight on. Where are you getting a steak though at midnight? Like, oh yeah. my God, you going to the Waffle House, you know? And they yeah, had the steaks in there. True. Of course, they were only, a, you know, they were a little bit thin. So if you <laughs> ate about four or five of them, you know, you, <laughs> favorite, <you> know, cut. <laughs> yeah. favorite cut of steak. Hey, yeah. what, what is it? I'm gonna go with, uh, depending on during, where you're getting it from, you know, and it, with me. Right, so you're not but, I, I, but, I, but I've got to go. But I like fat around mine, so I'm gonna have to go with the ribeye. Ribeye. There you go. Yeah. yeah. All right. You know? Caleb in Cape Charles, Virginia. To Caleb. Yeah. So you can see I'm a steak man. See, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> right. Away. That's right. Yeah, I always laugh when Nick Foley tells the stories about like. You know, going to IHOP, and everyone's like, "Oh, I'll have egg whites on steak, and I'll have all oh, the Rudy." Uh, who Susan asked Christian for egg whites? <laughs> Did but, you say Mick for eggs? No, no. He said he'd be with like guys oh. ordering egg whites. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mick, okay. I didn't say it. Mick. <laughs> He did, so I don't want well, to. Well, that all good. That's a great yeah. friend of mine. Uh, man. I, I, yeah. I do stand up. Uh, yeah, great great guy. friend of mine. Great uh, oh, great question. Yeah, I can see where he said he, he laughed at him, right? Yeah. <laughs> he looks good, though. Now that he's doing the DDP yoga, he might be eating egg whites. Oh, you don't yeah, know. Yeah, he might be. <laughs> Travis Babcock wants to know Would you ever open a wrestling school? You know, I've been asked that, man, countless amount of times, right? I No, not at this point. You know, I, if I'm going to do it, I would want to do it when I really am into it and not just doing it you know go out there and try to make fast money and anything when i'm really going to do it and do it the right way i think you know? I, I, and i'm not ruling it out but just not at this point personal opinion i, I think that the the wrestling business could use a guy like you yeah. teaching people because well, you could you actually enjoy giving back and yeah. that's very well, rare so uh this is to omar benitez he wants it to my boy omar in santa Ana, california all right let's hook him up then Javon Braun wants to know at Waffle House, how do you get the hash browns? All the way? Uh, I'm not a hash brown man. Okay. Yeah, no. no. Strictly to the meat, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, there you have it, Javon. No hash browns. <laughs> no, no hash browns. Got a lot of willpower. Uh, to Ryan in Michigan. Ryan. Right. Damn, to Ryan. Great question from Lou Caballero, and I guess you could answer this too. Uh, did he ever? Did you? When he says he, did you ever think of coaching for the XFL or any type of football coaching? No, at at one point I did. If I would do it, I'm going to do it at the high school level. Okay. I love to do that at the formative stages, mm -hmm. you know, because I knew how much that meant to me, you know, at that point of mm -hmm. coaching, you know, right. I love to watch, you know, and particularly myself when I go back, how I evolved and came about and I think that's a pivotal point for a lot of kids mm -hmm. you know because that's gonna set the tone for how you go on you know, college and even probably to the pros you yeah. know your work ethics and everything you learn yeah. you know how many how many talented athletes in any sport you know just were steered in the wrong direction and yeah, all right so you know, that's awesome right. Frank Scott Middletown Pennsylvania right. to Frankie to Frankie Lowell Reed, any good Teddy Long stories? Was he always the same dude behind the curtain as his character changed through the years? He was a referee, manager of Doom, then SmackDown GM. I'll take that back, you know. Two guys that I knew was the same guys, the same. That's Teddy and the Iron Sheet, man. <laughs> right, great guy, fantastic friend he's been. 
throughout the years. And what a lot of people don't know about him is that he's probably one among, probably one of three or two guys in this business that has done every facet. Everything. Everything. Okay, now he really has came up, you know, yeah. as we say, you know, from the grassroots and learned his way and learned the entire business. Absolutely. You know? And, and <clears> over, <throat> I mean, uh, uh, you can map it out. You can watch it on the WWE Network. You can watch video of him collecting coats right. and walking them down the aisle. Right. Referee. And then, and then you can see him in the Hall of Fame. Exactly. <laughs> Referee so and good. everything. Yeah. Did it all. Everything in between. You know? Michael Overstreet <laughs> in Tennessee <laughs> to Michael <laughs> to Michael. Let's hook up Mike. Great question from Andrew DePetra. I think any professional athlete uh, is faced with this question. How do you handle not wrestling anymore? Are you restless or do you stay busy? How do you stay busy now that you're out of the ring? Well, no. I, for me, it was an easy transition for me, okay? Because I've been an athlete all my life, my entire life, I've been an athlete. Okay, so for me, when it was, when this time came, man, I was I, I was ready for it. You know, you know, time to rest the body, time to rest the mind. You know, the stress and to be with the family That's at awesome. this point. No, 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 none. No regrets about looking back of anything because I had some success in everything I've set out to be, and I there's no more. That's great. For me. Was the transition that quick? Like the first week, you're like, "Oh, this is nice." Like, did it did it happen that fast for you? Well, it, it actually was. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. You know, and, and just as I'm doing now, it's enough to come out. You know, yeah. just to get me away for a moment and right and back home. That's great. All right, no, no, that's great. Kyle Berg in Indiana. Kyle. All right, let's hook up Kyle. This is for Alan Williams in Magnolia, Texas. To Alan. To Alan. Cool. Do we have a lot more photos? Cooking with gas. Yeah. No, it didn't. Perfect. Sip your drink, I'll do a quick plug. Monday Night Virtual, 80sWrestlingCon.com. Get those orders in for Mr. Simmons from now until 10 o'clock. And then when Mr. Simmons is done with us at 10 p.m., we're going to have the store open till midnight with a special 20% off discount for every signing from now till the end of July. All you got to do is put in the code NV at checkout. So if you want a picture, let's say, with Billy Gunn, June 28th, you put the order in, put in code MNV. 20% off. We got Powers of Pain next week. The full list is right there. We're moving along quick tonight. We got David Rosenthal in right. Oceanside. Hey. We're doing Where's Dave coming from? Sorry. Oceanside? Uh, yeah, I was just seeing where he was from. Uh, Oceanside, New York. Blue oh, okay. Yep. Uh, what's that, Dave, you say? No, just your signature. Oh, just signature. Yes. Andrew, we actually covered that question as well as uh, the Nation of Domination and how every guy went off. Uh, did their own thing, so check out 80swrestlingcon.com the next couple days, and you'll see the answer to that question. Oh, this is still the same, same gentleman. Right. Okay, these are all from the same gentleman. He went all in. And those are wrong right there. Those are going to be in silver. And those oh. are in silver. There we go. These are all for the last gentleman. One okay. One red, three green. These are all for the same gentleman. His name is William D. Michelle. He's got right. one red, and then uh, three of them are in green. Okay. So that's the red one, and then the rest are green. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, okay. Go. Just go. getting from all sides here. <laughs> Monday Night Virtual, ladieswrestlingcon.com. We're here with Mr. Simmons till 10 p.m. Get those orders in. Here is the full list of upcoming signings. Next week, we got the Powers of Pain. That's February 22nd, March 8th, Wendy Richter. March 22nd, Bob Orton and Craig DeGeorge. Craig's first ever wrestling convention appearance, whether that be in person or virtual. Never been done before. He'll be here March 22nd. April 19th, the ECW Extreme signing. April 26th, Stan Hansen. 
May 10th, Ken Patera. May 17th, Eric Rowan. Also with Darren Young on May 17th. May 24th, Nikita Koloff. June 7th, my old buddies, the Rock and Roll Express. That's going to be a lot of fun. June 21st, the Head Shrinkers. June 28th, Billy Gunn. July 5th, Tyrus, formerly known as Brodus Clay. It's going to be an exciting one. And, of course, July 26th, the Man of a Thousand Holds himself, Dean Malenko. So don't forget, 10 p.m. to midnight tonight, 80swrestlingcon.com. 20% off every one of those signings from now till the end of July. You just got to put in the code MNV so, at checkout, so, and you're hooked up. Yeah, so what do we got coming up next? Something here. Gentleman Chris, but it's going to be more to a gentleman named Sam. Okay. Travis Babcock says, Ron seems like he's truly enjoying doing this and interacting with all of us fans and telling all his great stories. It's awesome to see how much he's enjoying this. Yes, I am. There right. Yeah. That's what it's all about. I really am, man. You have more than you probably know, but it's, it's been a long time coming for me to get to this point. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I can just remember uh, when I started in Florida, mm -hmm. right, and watching some of the older guys as they were nearing the end of their career and how much it meant to them. And, and actually, a couple of them told me never to forget it. If I was able to endure this business and get to a point to where it had given me a lifestyle, mm -hmm. hey, don't forget to thank the people. Because mm -hmm. without them, it, it's not possible. It's awesome, you know? Sure so yes, works. I am enjoying it. <laughs> <you know? clears throat> So this is all from one gentleman. Uh, his name is Christopher Williams, Newport News, Virginia. I love it out there in Newport Ooh, News. But the Zan, it's for Zan. I don't even know what that last name is. That makes me want to say that. Yeah. Trip I, something. <laughs> yeah. So just so, take it very Tipples on you. Do you have the last name? He emailed me. How about that? Warrior Spirit backwards. John Tipples oh, I, Tipples I, oh, I, yeah. Did I say it right? It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Warrior spirit backwards. Good for him. He'll be on TV next week. Hey, he actually yeah. wants me to. Yeah, yeah I'll just spell it. Comments no, he, coming he in, guys, on the chat. If you have any memories of this man's career, and if you have any questions, we'll try to get to as many as we can. Don't forget, if your question does not get asked, it's probably because we covered it already. We're here with Mr. Simmons till 10 p.m., then from 10 p.m. till midnight. If you go to 80swrestlingcon.com, 20% off all future signings. The full list is there. Find out how you can send your memorabilia from anywhere in the world for these future signings. And also order pictures that will be signed by your favorite stars over the next couple of months. Really excited for all these great signings that are going to be coming up. We well, just answered your best customer. Yeah, hey, keep it going. Maybe he's giving me a workout on that name. Right yeah. <laughs> Samu Anoue jumped in the chat. My brother. Samu Who we got there? Samu, Samu. Anoue. Oh, yeah, okay. Anoue. Anoue, I apologize. I'm not good with the names. I should know that one because the Yokozuna okay. documentary was phenomenal. All right. The Caballero family. Luis Caballero in New York. Okay. Caballero Red. family. Andrew DiPietro, fun fact, I got into cigars because APA smoked. Well, don't blame the man for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's not responsible for that. Gonna have to have a Surgeon General warning now on every old APA call. Oh,
it later, I will do it over. Okay. All right, Nathan Dill and Sparks, Nevada. To Nathan, you can accomplish your dreams. We'll do it later. Yeah, okay. Jose in Ocala, Florida. All right. Jose. Jose in the blue. Oh, blue. blue. Yeah. Yeah. John uh, Dyson, you asked about Doom. We talked a little extensively about the late Butch Reed uh, a little bit earlier, so please check out 80swrestlingcon.com in the next couple of days. I'm trying to acknowledge everybody's questions. I don't want you to think that you're being ignored. Once okay. again, though, this is not a shoot interview. We have a lot of stuff we need to get to, so oh, yeah. if you can, try to keep it down to comments, memories. We'll throw it out there. Robert Elwell in Wichita, Kansas. To Robert, damn, all of the way. We're going to blue with that. Oh. Two thousand twelve. Silver. All right, we got Enrique in Liberal, Kansas. Enrique in Silver. Enrique. Got a message from our boss, Tommy Fierro, on the chat. Hey, guys, jumping in for one second. I hope everyone is enjoying the show tonight. I just wanted to thank you all, as always, for all of your support. Hope everyone is excited for the upcoming schedule because I'm just getting started. That's right. It seems like every other day there's another big blockbuster announcement. So check out IndiesWrestlingCon.com for all the upcoming signings. As they're signed, they're posted. So check them out. Ronald Carley in Pennsylvania to Ron. All right. Let's hook up Ron. Javon Brun, I've been working from home since the pandemic. About to turn a loft area of my house into a home office. Definitely going to put up a door just on a frame, APA style. There you go. <laughs> Craig in the UK. Craig. All right. There we go. Let's take care of Craig. This again. That was one of my oh. other favorite parts of that documentary when you talked about how you guys doing all those skits hadn't wrestled for months. And you were just back doing those you know, skits of TV. It goes to show the mindset how things have changed because now it seems like everybody wants ring time and be yeah, in the ring. You guys got to entertain and be <laughs> full of <laughs> Yeah, I, listen, man, I love, that was one of the periods of time where I loved all facets of it, you yeah. know, the behind the scene thing, you know, uh, as well as in ring. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And also, it's nice to have your body get a little bit of a break. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you know. So you get to just go to work, drink beer, play cards, <laughs> right? There you go. Michael Federico in Ohio. All Michael. Right. To Michael Silver. This is actually to Jack and Aaron, but it's from Aaron okay. in Parkersburg, West Virginia. All right. So to Jack and Aaron. Well. All right. 
Kelly Fields in Columbia, Tennessee to Kelly All and Silver. Right. Let's hook Kelly up. Silver? Eric in South Windsor, Connecticut. All right, let's take care of Eric. David Geyer, we uh, actually covered that question earlier about JBL and the Hall of Fame, so 80sWrestlingCon.com in the next couple of days, and you'll get to see the answer to your question. Christopher Curtis in... Every week, this makes me laugh. Moscow, Idaho. Oh. I never knew there was a Moscow in Idaho. <laughs> yeah. Florida. Hey, Florida, New York. I don't know why it, I can't get used yeah. to the idea of <laughs> Moscow and Idaho. Well, that's still stunning, huh? We had talked a little bit about uh, Owen Hart before, and I always ask the Owen Hart stories. And then, did you ever have any Kurt Henning ribs that you got to witness? Oh man, he was another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he probably was the only one who could rival, uh, you know, Owen when it came to you know pranks. Different type of ribs. Yeah, yeah, though, yeah. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Much, yeah, much different. Okay, some we won't. Uh, go of course, on. Yeah, yeah. some we won't go. Yeah, on. but, but <laughs> I, again, I said this to, to Mike Rotunda. But, but again, no great guy. A great guy, and from what I've been told. But from what I said to Mike Rotunda, too, was it seems like the guys that had the real athletic backgrounds, whether it be football or, in Mike's case, amateur wrestling, those guys didn't get ribbed as much mm. as some of the other guys. Well, right? not, I'm not in, in different different styles okay. of ribbing. Okay. okay yeah, they're, they're different levels okay. of ribbing. They got to share ribs, but it was in different levels. Was there anything done to you that you can share that was like PG? Well, no, I, I got my share of ribs, you know, okay. all, the, all the time. Like I said, you know, there are different levels of, <laughs> of ribs. <laughs> yeah, some are more cerebral yeah. and some are more yeah, vicious. Exactly. Absolutely, it's like anything else. This is uh, in black now, so I'll take that gray out of your way. And this is for Kevin Sanchez. To Kevin Sanchez. All right. Ron Carley says, all of these signings are very good, but Ron, you are by far the best. Hey, so there you thank go. Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. You, you stand out in a sea of good company, so that's good. Oh, thank you. Uh, and then this question from Brandon Neal, do you ever make it back? Now, I remember, I want to say it was on Monday Night Raw, but he's asking, do you ever make it back to Florida State for any games or recognition? I remember there being footage of you. Well, well yes, I, I do. Actually, I try to get, I haven't gone back in the last maybe year or two, but I do try to get back, right? You know, and right now, of course, uh, they're, you know, going through some transitional things at this point, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm looking forward to them getting back on track. And sometimes you don't want to go down and be in a, too much of a side of track. And you want them to hey, be focused on what they've got to do. Because they've got a lot of things they've got to get together now. So I'm really looking forward to going back when they do or helping them. Now, do you get to yeah. reunite with a lot of your teammates from back in the day during those weekends or games? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. oh yeah. Oh, that's yeah. got to be the best oh, part. Oh, yeah, man. Well, all of us get a kick out of doing yeah. that. You know, it, it's like, you know, when I get come back and see my wrestling buddies, you know, at a convention. Yeah. You know, or a reunion of any kind. Yeah. You know, it's that same thing. That's awesome. <clears throat> all right. So this one is for Stan in Belcourt, North Dakota. All right. Let's hook Stan up, man. Right. Blue. David Guy, I love you, buddy, but that was another question that we discussed earlier on tonight. So any of those questions that come to the top of your mind, we've been here for an hour and a half. They might have been asked already. So 80swrestlingcon.com. But if you have any other comments or memories about Mr. Simmons' career, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Well, I guess that's it. Right, and now we have the WWE Encyclopedia of Sports Entertainment, The Definitive Guide. This is Robert Williams in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. There you are. Now look at that, right under Rocky Johnson. Oh, wow, that's good. <laughs> Another good friend of mine. Okay, 
just to now was he a good friend of yours before you started working with the rock like did you guys oh yeah oh okay yeah yeah you know of course rocky was you know just a kid yeah then when i got to meet his father yeah right yeah that's awesome right great athlete maybe they'll talk about you in the new show young rock coming out this too great athlete I think it's great. That I, I can't wait to watch that show, Young Rock yeah. on NBC. For so many years, you know, people have discussed in, in the mainstream the negative aspects of wrestling. It's great to see some positivity. Yeah. Out there. Oh, I thought you were going to try to hit me. All right, oh, so sorry. someone's having a chair. Oh shot. no, no chair <laughs> shots, man. Yeah. Welcome out of retirement, yeah, no, Rob. No chair shot. All right, here we go. Robert Williams in Elizabethtown, uh, Kentucky. What color, Robert? Silver. Now we're bringing out the heavy artillery. Okay. I'm getting out of here. And used the wrong side, too. Exactly. Hard way. All right. What we got? Just your signature and Dan. Okay. Let's get it. So, uh, let's get this right. Yeah, let's get the dust off. Yes, he was, Nadia. We talked about the Ministry of Darkness earlier on. This had to be a trip for you when this came out because I think back in the day, you know, and I, and I played the LJN, and I think WCW had the Galoob rubber action figures, but they've come so far. Yeah, so to man. see this moment captured. It's such a, a nice figure. That has to be a trip. For yeah, it is. And each time I see one, yeah, yeah it, you know. And we ever like walking in a store and seeing your action figure on the shelf? That has to be. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it, it, you get act, it is. You get a big kick out of it. I can imagine. You know? Right. Adam in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Yeah, it was better than seeing your picture on the poster. Yeah, for something else. <laughs> yeah, well, the post yeah. office has those. Just your, oh, signature, just, uh, your signature and the WWE. All right. This is another WWE Classic Super Series. This time they threw the big gold in there. They said, there you go. Same thing? Yeah, yeah same thing. Your signature. Farouk and The Rock tag team set. Oh. Just speaking about that right there. That. We gotta get the uh, oh, we need yellow for that? Yellow. Oh, right here. I'm sorry. Yeah. It, was, okay. it was given to me. Okay. What is this? Okay. He wants it signed on this. That's That's awesome. Awesome. Uh, yeah. I think it makes more yeah. sense. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Sure. Okay. What's the question? Just confirm this here. By any means necessary? Is that what the guy wants on there? Yes. Yep. He wants all that That's stuff. Okay, Nation. Yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure. Yeah. He wants all that. Yep. Okay. Cool, that's it. Well, Mr. Simmons is doing that. Don't forget, we're here with him till 10 p.m. We still have that live auction coming up in a little bit, but from 10 p.m. till midnight tonight at 80swrestlingcon.com, code MNV at checkout, 25% off for every signing from now until the end of July, so make sure you check that out. Farouk in there, so does he want Ron Simmons on? What's Ron Simmons also on, or just the way that is? Oh, that's just, just the way it is, yeah. Oh, so you so want Farouk? Okay, just Farouk. Got yeah. it, okay. All right, let's make it. Now, for those of you that are under the age of 20, Maybe this is called yeah, on the dolls. VHS yeah. You know, like the figures, they just, yeah, I'm sure that's all they want. I was right in the middle of a bit, but thank you. Oh, uh, no, not you, not you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't telling you off. <laughs> Darren could beat me up too, but I take my chances with him. Not me, I'm only fighting arthritis. <laughs> VHS tape right here. Uh, I believe that this was uh, taken from Blockbuster and never returned. Mm. But this is the old uh, Chamber wow. of Horrors Hall Halloween Havoc. And these were the dates. I used to go and rent these. 
and then just not return them. Yeah, me, man. <laughs> I used to rent so many wrestling uh, uh, videotapes that they actually would say, just give us $5 and keep it. That's right. So they want this sign, uh, just signature in red. It's Carlo uh, in Port Republic, Maryland. So I guess sign anywhere around there. great, man. Or they want on. Which, they just want the signature. Which but one on? I guess. I guess they want. No, 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 no. I wouldn't do it on that. What they want? On, yeah, right yeah. on there. Okay. All right. So. Right, yeah, right over, over your body, over your body, over your, body, over your chest. Your name seems is like it. a shame to write over this good-looking guy. Though. That's it. All right. Now this here. So is that the same? Yeah, just, uh, we have a lot just, of fun here every week. Well, that goes with that. Okay. Excellentcon.com. It's organized chaos in the middle of the hotel. We're yeah. having fun. Want so. to get it right. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Got to get it right. Got to get it right because you know what? You can't redo these. No, not to get it right. Unless get you want to run to Toys R Us and hope they have them in the back. So Good luck finding a Toys R Us. Oh, that's right. Didn't they come back? Yeah, but they closed those two stores. Oh, all right. You know what? Grow up. You shouldn't know so much about toy stores. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So here we got Steve and Anderson. Hey, you can't bought my ribeye, man. Grow up. Steve. Uh, what are you, blue? Yeah, probably. <laughs> This is for white. I'll put that right there. Right. And it's Nicholas De Silva in Canada. And that's what he wants right, right the there. And then after that, we're going to get to the magazines. Don't forget, we're going to be auctioning off one of these WCW magazines. Also, the new 80s Wrestling Con store, which if you're following 80s Wrestling Con on Instagram, you'll be knowing more information about that in the coming days and weeks. Yep. Stuff like this, you can just walk on in and pick up for yourself. There's going to be lots of memorabilia available so if you're not following on instagram at 80s wrestling make sure you are also at ryan mar comedy ryan mahr comedy give me a follow too we talk about a lot of wrestling stuff all the time and here it is the wcw magazine pretty much mint condition right here ron simmons all american no all world right after the world title win so this is james stanton in selkirk new york and the it's going to be signed in black right. to James and Melissa. And this is them as well. James and Melissa. So okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Steven says, thank you, Tommy, Ryan, and Ron. This is awesome. Thank you, Matt. James and Melissa awesome. again. We went black on it. Without you guys, we don't have a show. We don't have anything to sign. So if you have any questions, we have some time coming up to open up some more questions. So if you have them, please give them to us. And I'll try to get to as many as I can. Also, any memories that you may have about Ron Simmons' career. There's a lot of ground to cover. Please let us know. Okay. Going to red now. All right, so this is pretty good show, right? red. Right. Yeah. And these are all for the same person, correct, Bubba John? Yes, those are all Okay, so these are all for the same gentleman, Bubba John. He's got the WCW action card. He's got a Farouk promo. He's got the Ron Simmons promo. Red, gold. We got a gold. Oh, so it's uh, red, gold, and silver. So we do red here. Okay. I'll let them handle that. While that's being done, because we want to make sure everything gets done correctly, now we're at the part of the evening where people send in their personal stuff. So we, we need have, gold. We don't have any room for errors now. 80swrestlingcon.com, all the virtual signings coming up. Next Monday night, Warlord and Barbarian, Powers of Asia. We'll skip this one, do that one, yeah. March 8th, Wendy Richter. March 22nd, Bob Orton and Craig DeGeorge. April 19th, the extreme signing. He just wants a personal one. Charles Bob will always bring protection. April 26th, Stan Hansen. May 10th, Ken Patera. May 17th, Eric Rowan and Darren Young. May 24th, Nikita Koloff. June 7th, the Rock and Roll Express. 
June 21st, The Head Shrinkers. June 28th, Billy Gunn. July 5th, Tyrus, formerly known as Brodus Clay. And July 26th, The Man of a Thousand Holds, Dean Malenko. Don't forget, from 10 p.m. till midnight tonight, 20% off every one of those signings that I just listed. Go to 80swrestlingcon.com. Type in MNV at checkout. Okay, right. boy. Right. right now, these are all a little bit different here, I think. So, you just, so this is uh, Mark Summer in Houston, Texas, just signature in silver. All right. Annie Spivey in Marion, South Carolina, another WCW action card in silver to Annie. Brandon Neal, can you please put up the link to order a photo, please? It's not coming up for me. 80swrestlingcon.com. So make sure you go check that out. 80swrestlingcon.com. All right, so this is Red Just Signature Don Lee. Okay. Kenny McGowan, hey Ron Simmons, aka Mr. Dam. <laughs> we did say you get that all the time. Yeah. Much appreciated for the autographs that I have. Just made my day. Thanks. You're welcome, man. Made mine. That's what it's all about, Kenny. Okay. All right. Chris in, not far from me, Wall, New Jersey. Another Action card. What I call it an action card, trading card, action figure, trading card. Put them together, you got an action card. There well, you have it. It's the same thing. Yeah. I was in action. <laughs> uh, Sean Barton, Plano, Texas, silver for that one. Now we got a couple more last-minute photo sure. orders that came in. Although it's really not last minute because we're burning through this today. It's only ten to nine. So if you guys have any questions, please keep them coming. This is the fastest. Uh, signer I've worked with yet, so it's it's interesting. We got a lot of time. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask, Craig Southall asks. Sherry Martell said in her Hall of Fame speech she was almost put with Ron before she managed Harlem Heat. Any thoughts? Uh, yeah, she was. Yeah, what, was she that almost you? yeah that almost happened right, and I'm not sure at some what they uh, decided to go in some different direction uh, from that point. But man, that, that either way. It would have been a blast for me to work with her. Because what I you remember know? as a fan, I you know I loved the WCW title run, and then yeah. it was if I, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. they didn't even show you lose the belt. It was at a house show, right? And then right, it yeah. just all of a sudden it was like this heel turn, mm -hmm. and it but like it was never really explained. So was that around the time I guess they were going to probably? No, it happened just as fast as it happened receiving it. Yeah, you it know, was, get, uh, with me getting the belt. Yeah, you know, right. Yeah, so I guess it would be another surprise uh, element in it, right? But. But look, once again, though, with, with uh, working with Sherry, man, that would have been great. Are you, you speaking of uh, a woman or a person, period, yeah. that really understood and knew the business, she was one. Because she was trained like one of the men. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, back right. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, that's the yeah. perfect way to put it. Yeah. That's right. I wouldn't have messed with Sherry. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel Edgington in Denver, Colorado, blue. So these are all blue coming up. Okay. These two. Nigel and Rebecca. Got to be friendly a couple years ago with Bubba Ray Dudley, and he told me some great stories about this person. And so Travis Babcock asks, "What was it like working with May Young while you were in the APA?" Oh, man, it, it was really man. You know, I have a lot of res a lot of respect uh, for her. anything that a, a lot of the guys. And I mean, a lot of uh, people don't know, man. Listen, May Young and Moolah, the brother, they were just as tough as any of the guys. Absolutely. Okay. Right, I've seen her take things, man. That some, of the, that, listen, some of the men 
okay, would have had second thoughts about, all mm -hmm. right? Well, hey, it was a blast to even be around her, all right? Both of them were fantastic. And if you, and if you were easy on them, especially May, oh, absolutely. she'd yell at you. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Jim in Keyport, New Jersey. Blue, Jim. Jeremy Harris in Old Bridge, New Jersey. 80swrestlingcon.com. Get those orders in for Mr. Simmons. And then after we're done at 10 p.m. from 10 till midnight, 20% off all the great signings coming up from now till the end of July. That is one hell of a steal, so you might as well jump on that. Robert Kiefer in Williamsburg, Pennsylvania to Robert. Christopher Jones in Easton, uh, Pennsylvania, right, Chris. to Chris. Oh, wow, this is cool. I've never seen this before. So this looks like it's a, like a replica almost of the Hall of Fame yeah. ring. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Is that supposed to be the ring, or is it? And, yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. I love that when when there's merchandise that he doesn't even know. <laughs> yeah, about. that's great. <laughs> yeah, then my next thought comes to me when I do see that. I wonder if I'm getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> Send that check. <laughs> I gotta call Stanford yeah. tomorrow. Another one of the WCW magazines. This one for Tad. Wants just the signature and WCW World Champion. We're going to be auctioning off sure. one of those Very magazines cool. later on tonight. old WCW promo photos. These were always great. Yeah, man. Uh, here we go. This one is for Ooh. Joseph Bruin in East Providence, Rhode Island. Oh, I know. Like good, good man. Ron Simmons. Right. Well, Joe, we're going to have to Champion. Damn, Joe, you don't leave a man much room to be right now. This world heavyweight champion. Edward Romero, we actually discussed that earlier tonight. It was very real. So check out 80swrestlingcon.com in the next couple days. And you can hear Mr. Simmons talk about his feelings about that night and that celebration. That's it. I bet you didn't know Ron Simmons was on the cover of a Marvel comic book. Yeah, there you go. You go. Yeah. So wait for the uh, Avengers Part Nine okay. with Ron Simmons. Yeah. It's going to be good. Okay, just signature and chant, I don't even know if I want to ask about this, but it's a it's a trading card that has you and Bradshaw and Jacqueline, and it says kiss and tell. I don't know if it's one of those Valentines or what. Jacqueline? Miss Jacqueline? Yeah. Miss Texas Jacqueline? Oh, she's out. <laughs> kiss and tell? I'm not asking any questions. Wow. That's what the card says. Wow. I'm just reading it. <laughs> that's so <laughs> real, <laughs> man. <laughs> man, that's the first I'm seeing this one. Is this <laughs> so this is, must be a homemade. Another thing to add to the list to find out if you're yeah, <laughs> I, this, this is a real one. Wow. Yeah, I better call in on that one. <laughs> you ain't getting a 1099. Uh, yeah. 
You're right. <laughs> Are these all? It's all for the same person. Andy Hammerlink, that's silver. Another trading card right there. Okay, just so you Turnbuckle Memories DVD. There you are around the back, back cover. Uh, where is it? Wow, man. Hmm. This is why I get a kick out of this. You know, some of them, I, it's been a long time since I've seen them. And yeah, it, yeah it's great. <clears throat> and now, too, with Amazon Prime, mm. I mean, I remember doing the indie shows, there would be the guys that would have the tape trading things mm. set up, and but now everything's available on your TV. It's just a, it, Amazon yeah, Prime, it's amazing, TV Network, you know? it's, it's wild. Right. All uh, right, so this is the damn T-shirt, Ron Simmons uh, in silver. What color? Shout out to Lisa Constantino from Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah. Ron Simmons. Let's do this one first. Okay. Simmons. Yeah. Right. 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 Question. Thanks for tuning in. Great question from Nadia Carpini. What's the weirdest thing you've ever autographed? Oh. <laughs> I think my my expression probably would okay. give that away. <laughs> I just add, I just read the what they asked. Yeah, yeah. How about that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the good old days. Uh, Those were the days. Yeah. Antonio Bush. Well, let's put it this way, right? Those now days, right? With that, that would probably be harassment in all oh, different yeah. ways. Oh. I want a million bucks. I want him in jail. Yeah. You know, all of it. Yeah, that's, that, right. that's why I, I tread very lightly. Uh, yeah. Uh, Antonio Bush in Coatesville, Pennsylvania. It's silver to Antonio. I have a note to answer your question. Uh, this is not for sale. This is actually going to be signed uh, towards the end for one of our customers. We just figured we'd use it as a cool little prop for our little mock set here, our little pretend APA getup for the WCW World Heavyweight title. I actually had this one. This was old school Jack Pacific, uh, Farouk. Yeah, I remember him, man. Yeah. Get it? Doesn't want to sign it. Just wants it to uh, Kenny. That's it. Do it. There's no no signature on this. Just I would I, I would sign it. Oh, okay. Just making sure. I don't know if that's for Rube or. All right. All right. Jonathan in Greenfield, Wisconsin. This looks like it's a promo card for a, an independent event, perhaps. Okay. Was it for all nine? Just yeah, just let's go right up above. Yeah, I guess that's right. good. Yeah. Soaked it up, didn't it? Yeah. Another one of the classic yeah. WCW magazines. Ryan in Brunswick, Ohio. That is black. I think it's black. Hey. Don't forget, guys, 80swrestlingcon.com. List of all upcoming signings. Then when we're done with Mr. Simmons tonight, from 10 p.m. till midnight, 20% off every signing from now till the end of July. Just use that code MNV at checkout to utilize that discount. All right, Ryan Martinez in Butler, Silver. New Jersey. Ryan Martinez in Butler, okay. New Jersey. Some Ryan up here. Okay. Cool. Sign it. Ryan? Yeah. Hello, Ryan. How are you doing, my man? Thanks for tuning in, buddy. 
First time seeing one of these, I guess this is a Hall of Fame uh, program, kind of commemorative. I don't think it's proper to call it a program. It's a little too nice to be called a program. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. Just some blue. Thank you very much. This made my evening, Nadia Carpini. Thank you, Nadia. And great yeah. question about the weird autograph. Yeah, very good. <laughs> All right, Chris, uh, he wants a shout out. Happy Some birthday to Big Al, yeah. but it's just two Chris in signing. I guess black, I would think. Oh, we got two Chris. Oh, okay. Uh, Chris also wanted you to know that you were his uh, favorite wrestler back in 1992, and his bedroom was a complete line. C-A-U. C-H-M. Sorry. Hey, tell it. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy. I appreciate that, and it's always good to hear. It let's me know I did something right. <laughs> Joe Narvaez, Torrance, California, another Yellow. action figure. Okay. What's your signature? Mm -hmm. Does he want Farouk or does he want your name on it? Well, yeah. yeah. Well, you got Farouk here, but usually I go with both. Okay. So you can't go wrong. All right. This is a WrestleMania 23 right, action go. figure. This is yellow. Brian, actually, that was asked uh, earlier today. He actually mentioned the Road Warriors and Steiners, all the hard-hitting tag teams that he got to work with over the years. So don't forget 80swrestlingcon.com. Every virtual signing that we've done so far, uh, even the ones that from before when I took over as host, they're all up there. There's a lot of great stories. So it's not just about order and merchandise. If you have some time to kill, go to 80swrestlingcon.com, check out all those great past signings. And in the next couple of days, this one with Mr. Simmons will be up. So any question that may have been asked already that you missed it will be available to watch very, very soon. This one is for Danny Hutton in Glasgow, Scotland. Scotland. Black. Scotland. There you go. I'm right. telling you, they come from all yeah. over the world. Cliff Smalling in Toronto, Canada. To Cliff. Edward Solaro says, Ron, I wish I could have met you in person. Thanks for signing my WrestleMania book. You're welcome, man. Well, we'll be back to normal eventually. Thank Wrestling you for Con. tuning in. Yeah, and hopefully we'll get to meet. Exactly. There you go. You have some upcoming stuff uh, in person over the next couple months lined up. Uh, right? Yeah. There yeah. You go. I see a few people throughout the comments were saying, yeah. oh, we're looking forward to meeting you here and yeah. there. So glad to see that you're keeping busy. Brandon Neal in Tennessee. All right. That's it. Robert Kiefer in Williamsburg, PA, to Robert. Neil. I guess he figured it would be better just to buy him instead of... Yeah. Instead of getting into another bidding war. All right, Rob. Now, later on, we're going to be doing a raffle. Another raffle, I'm sorry, an auction. 
a lot of sideways conversation, guys. Sorry about that. But we're going to be doing an auction at the end of this, and you could go home or take home these wrestling boots. But Emil, our auction champion, just decided to go ahead and buy these ones in advance. So this is to Emil. Good deal, Emil. 80s Wrestling's number one fan. Red for that. Sure. Number one. Craig Southall says, thanks for signing my photo. Being from South Wales, UK, we don't get the chance to get things signed. So happy, thanks. That's what it's all about. That's right, man. Glad to get this opportunity to do it. All right, another item for a meal, the damn t-shirt. Shout out a meal hunter. Sure. I think you just picked it up. Yeah, it looks good. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for tuning in, and you can't go wrong with that damn shirt. <laughs> <laughs> a belt that you're no stranger to. Uh, You've held it, I believe, yeah. three times. There you go. And uh, then let that go. And it's been here for a couple weeks now. Ricky O. He's had uh, both members of Demolition sign this, as well as Ted DiBiase and IRS. There you go. And so now, former WWE World Tag Team Champion Mr. Ron Simmons is going to sign that belt for Ricky O. I yeah. believe he wants it. Right there, okay. silver, right on the strap. It's the real deal, too. Well, let's see. Come up this way, huh? Just lay the belt flat. About right. Please, flat, please. <coughs> It's got to be amazing from the start of your career when they used to just make the plastic toy belts to now see them selling yeah, pretty yeah, much the and real they, thing. Yeah, they, <laughs> and they are actually, you know, look better. They look great, some of them. Yeah. You know, right. right. Dave Kipoff. Dave. Both of them are for him. Silver. What color we got? The silver. silver. Uh, the different writing. Just language. your signature. Uh, and you use the damn door. <laughs> I'm gonna get up and let you just fine. drape that. It's all good. It's all good. All right. Sit. Damn, Joe Boo, that's it. Yep. No signature. Well, your signature, obviously. Yeah. No. This is for Carter Cole in Richmond, Virginia. Okay. The flag, WWF. Mm -hmm. Look for silver. All right. The signature and Dan. Yeah. The first one there. WrestlingCon.com as I come back onto camera here. Hope you didn't miss me too much. Oh man, hey. 80s Wrestling Con. this with you, buddy. I'm enjoying it too. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, it's always a pleasure to do these each and every week. But like I said, I mean, you've got this down to a science. I mean, you are just burning through stuff tonight. Hey, you know, listen, when you're happy to do it, you know. So we'll get this uh, out of the way. This is the. This is my first time actually ever seeing. In this in person. The oh, yeah, and that's an actual great replica of what it was. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, now, do you, you know, have the original at your house? Did you no, know no. No, don't have the original. How did that work? Some guys say that they have it, other guys don't. Is there some uh, shenanigans? Well, hey, man, it's, you know, it's, it's like a mythical thing, right? You know, but I'm sure someone did does have it, you know, but it's not me. Do you have any of the tag team belts from the WWE? I can't tell you. 
Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. All right, I don't know. I don't See, know. they still might be looking for well, well, no, because that's the thing. Some, <laughs> some guys yeah. will tell you that they were, they yeah. were gifted it. You they know, were allowed to keep it. Yeah, I'm going to plead the fifth, though. All they, right. They might hey. still be looking for <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. But you hear different things. Like Donnie yeah. Dallas Page but told no, me he was right. good in his WWE, yeah. you know, and... Other guys tell me they might have accidentally lost it at the airport. Yeah. You know, things happen. Right. Things do happen. Yeah, well, uh, and a lot of them did get lost. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, mishandled yeah. in the baggage department. Yeah. Okay, right. Well, yeah, I mean, think about it. There's got to yeah. be some, guy, like, wrestling fan. No, a lot of them got lost like, a lot. Yeah. No, okay. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> you know, there's some guy walking around the tarmac <laughs> wearing the Intercontinental title. Yeah. yeah. Waving the men. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Why not? <laughs> But actually, you know, believe it or not, when they, you know, back in the day, when they did see you coming and they knew who you were okay. and they knew you were champion at that time, you know, trust me, it happened. They would run back down, you know, yeah. and go through your back. Is that why some guys and that's them, a, and that's, and that's serious, <laughs> yeah. you know? I believe it. Right. You know. Yeah, because at the time, too, yeah. like I said, there were no you know, replicas for sale. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You that know, is. And they wind up getting the real deal. Uh. You know? Yeah, but that's why you always hear about the guys wearing the belts at the airport as a rib. But maybe it was also and that's to take him to, to to ensure that they got it to the next, you know, show. A lot you know. of responsibility. Yeah. All right. So I guess we'll have this. Now, is there a specific spot they want this signed, it, or just and uh, silver, obviously, right? Yes, yeah, uh, silver. And I don't know if anybody does. Darren wanna? He likes to because I don't want him to sign it in the wrong spot. Yeah. Okay. Tommy, Tommy is there, anywhere? Can, was, was there anything, any specific spot to sign on the title there, or? Uh, just on, just find a good spot on the side. Oh, on, on, on the side. On the side. Yeah. On that. So that's why I don't know if you guys want to charge Where, that. On the side here. I believe so. Uh, right here. I guess yeah. yeah, that'll work. Like on the side that's right. That's good. Just put In here. WCW channel. Just having that. All right. This one, they just want you to add first black world champion. Okay. Right. So that's for Danny Dell. Uh, for Danny Dell. Yes, that's for Danny Dell. Yep. Oh, uh, this one? No, you're you're just uh, gonna put add. This is oh. why we're getting. This was first black world right. champion, but it's for Danny Dell. Sorry about that. <laughs> If you have any other questions or comments, keep them coming in the chat. Don't forget, Monday night virtual. we got so many coming up. Next Monday, we'll be here with the Powers of Pain, 80s Wrestling. Well, I, I, I just can't speak enough of that. The, the list of the upcoming guys you got here, man. Uh, these are all fantastic guys, great workers, you know, and I've had the opportunity to work with just about everybody on here. You yeah. Know? Right. It's yeah. going to be fun to see Darren Young because he was actually from Jersey. Working great on list of so, guys. Yeah. There's know? so many guys. I mean, yeah. young, old. Uh, everything in between. Yeah. So it's always great, uh, 80s Wrestling Con, the way that they mix it up. Are you available on any social media where people can follow you? No, I'm not that, not that big on them. You know, I'm trying right at this point not to be followed. <laughs> 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 I've been followed enough in my no, I day. I, I, I'm, I don't want to be followed too much now, okay? Well, that's right, what the, yeah. the amazing difference is. I mean, you, you guys worked through that whole kayfabe <laughs> era, you know, you had to live 24-7 the gimmick, and now it just blows my mind that everybody's just so connected to these guys. Yeah. You watch them on TV, doing something one minute, and then see what they're having for breakfast the next morning. So it's definitely an interesting time yeah. to, to be a fan. Well, let me put it to you this way, right? I just cannot imagine coming up during my time, mm -hmm. you know, and especially under some of the, the microscope now that the kids are under, now, yeah. right? You know, when everything now was picture or internet or any yeah. of that, it would have been extremely hard. Yeah. Can you, you imagine know? Iron Sheep and on Instagram? I, uh, Wouldn't have worked. Uh, <laughs> 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 God. 
I mean, I'm just and, saying. And that is, that is a perfect <laughs> example. <Exactly. laughs> wow. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we here we go. I'm sorry. sorry. I didn't, I didn't okay. see it there. Billy Thompson, okay. Berlin, Maryland. We're still having some orders come in. Yeah. 80s wrestling yeah. Con. Billy wants Dot blue, man. Billy in blue. Billy in yeah. blue. Billy T. So Jason Hatfield in Canada, this black. All right. To Jason. Get those last minute orders in, 80swrestlingcon.com. Don't forget we still have that live auction coming up in just a little bit. And then when we're done at 10 o'clock, you're going to go over to 80swrestlingcon.com for two hours, 20% off every signing from now till the end of July. Lowell Reed asks, in your career, was there anyone that you really wanted to work with but never got the chance to? Actually, you know what? And, and now, that is a very, I love that question there because I'm one of the lucky ones, okay? Mm -hmm. My career started at a point to where I had a span where I got to work through several different generations, mm -hmm. right? And I think it just about covered, like I've said, I don't think it'll ever get to be better yeah. than the guys that I've had the opportunity to have learned from and been in the ring with, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's for, I don't care if this business goes on for eternity. Yeah. I've been in the ring with, I think, in my yeah, so opinion, best. the absolute best, okay? Right, no. I, I don't, I, I think that I've had the opportunity to have learned and been in there with the best. No, yeah. no. It's not going to get any better. No, it won't. All right, thank you, buddy. Let's try another one here. This is really cool. This is Nolan Ward in Illinois, mm -hmm. and uh, my biggest 10-year-old fan. We were talking oh, about that right. earlier. Yeah, so silver man. for that one. Here we go. Thanks a lot, Nolan. That's the great thing about the yeah. video games and WWE Network, just spanning all these generations, really bridging the gaps. For Tad. All right, and Tad, Tad. Tad. Wants the blue. Yeah. Since we got plenty of time, okay. we need to start a couple of right. Let's start with the magazines. Okay, sounds good. Alright guys, 9.30 p.m., which is 12 minutes from now. That is your last call to order an 8x10. we got Tommy in the back by the computer. So if you go to 80swrestlingcon.com, if you're watching us right now live on Facebook, go to that website, 80swrestlingcon.com, place your order in the next 10 minutes, and we'll have Mr. Simmons sign it for you and do a shout-out. We're going to move on right now to our live auction. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to hold out. The product Mr. Simmons got here earlier today, and he signed it. You can yeah. confirm that, sir. No fake Ron Simmons here. This is the real deal. No, it's the real deal. So we're going to auction off these magazines. We're going to spend three minutes on each auction item. So we're going to start off with the May. I don't know if this is the year. Actually, no, this is the December 1992 wow. Wrestling Superstars. You signed it earlier. And yeah, believe it or not, this that one, man, was among like one. First ones that when I really started collecting okay. the book. So that's really among one of the favorites for me. For you? Yeah, personally. Wrestling oh, Superstars. Yeah. Now, was this one of the after mags or was this under? Which one is that one? Wrestling Superstars? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, it's funny. I always yeah. had a subscription to WWF Magazine and WCW Magazine, mm -hmm. but like Pro Wrestling Illustrated, the wrestler, those were always the ones at the supermarket that I would go and I'd pick right. up. So and it, each cool. one of like those books, right? It, for me, they had like a different story and meaning. Yeah. You know, right, yeah. Yeah. Well, because uh, back then, you like know. you said, if you wanted to know what was going on in the territories, right. couldn't do yeah. it. So we're going to spend three minutes 
letting you guys make your bids in the chat. So we're going to start this one at $50. That's the opening, $50. Yeah. So if Great memories on that one. You know, if you want to start it off. Personal paper. There you go. You want to buy it? That would be a little Yeah. Hey, <laughs> that, yeah I'll take it, though. Awesome. $50 is the opening bid. $50. HadesWrestlingCon.com, 9.30 is the and last call. Great guys, you know, inside, you know, a host of, like, uh, Oh, uh, I just man. turned to. Just turned wow. to Rick Rude. You know, uh, one, of, one of the best and most sound technical guys that I've had the opportunity to work with. I don't know if that was him saying hello. Uh, no. then the it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I again, know. a lot right. of the guys. I don't think you can turn to a bad page, can you? No, can you probably can't. Let's let's open another one. Let's yeah. see who do we got in this one. Oh, look at that! Didn't even know. Can't turn to a that, bad page. There you go. Right. That is awesome. Wow. Let's see who else we got. Oh, look at a young uh, Sean Waltman, Brian Christopher, rest in peace. Absolutely. Sting. Yeah, what a great year, 1992. I mean, yeah. again, a, a young you kid. Know. I'm watching you on WCW Saturday Night. I think it was like a year before. What the hell is Rick Rude doing in WCW? Because back then, you yeah. didn't know. You just would turn on TV, see a guy show up. So $50, if anybody's interested, that is the opening bid. If it does not go for the live auction, you will be able to order these at 80swrestlingcon.com. Also, follow at 80s Wrestling on Instagram. You're going to know the upcoming dates for the store when that opens here in New Jersey. So $50, opening bid, if anybody would like to. you got about a minute left. Absolutely great book. Great, a great article, great read. Emil Menard came in with the opening bid at fifty dollars. So if anyone wants to beat that with fifty-five, fifty dollars, and then there's the Steiner brothers, right there. Great tag matches, man. Great tag matches. But now those were the guys that I think I probably had the most fun. Oh, being in the so ring. innovative. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Things you would never see before. Yeah. Neil Menard with the opening bid at $50. Yeah, I mean, those guys, uh, just the different suplexes. And I, I mean, I had never saw a Frankensteiner. A uh, Rado, yeah. I had never yeah. seen that before. Took a nut from, from Sky. <laughs> yeah. That's another, did you ever go to the gym with him? Ah, uh, uh, no. <laughs> Stayed away from him. He worked too hard. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get the 23 inch biceps like Scotty, you know, just sitting around, man. Yeah, no, yeah. especially when I was in high school, I remember watching like Nitro and go, oh my God, that is the biggest human being yeah. I have ever seen in my life. Yeah. All right, so $50 for Emil Menard, 10 seconds to beat it. Right, it looks like Emil is going to be on the way, huh? I think Emil is going to be on the way. So this is Wrestling Superstars sold to Emil Menard, $50. Good deal, we buddy. Move right along. Good deal. Now, now, this one right here. I think my wife must have gotten every copy she could get her hands on because that's one of her favorite photos of okay. me there. And she liked the background, you know, and yeah. the color of it. That's you know, awesome. Right. Yeah, like I said, all of them have different, you know, meanings a lot. So did she you order know, them or was she just picking them up on like you just, at Some of them she was buying when she would see it, you know, see it oh, out. That's awesome. And then finally, I think that she got a shipment of them, you know, <laughs> that they gave her, you know, because she was such a fan of them. That's awesome. You know? That is right, great. Yeah. So same thing, fifty dollars opening bid for oh, this as well. You mean that one is just that's it? That's all. Oh, I mean unless you, fifty bucks. I oh, I, we got to have yeah, my lease going up to. Yeah. I mean I don't hundred. Well, let's see what happens. Starting. You know, I, I don't set the prices. Fifty. Ah. Yeah. You Did you get check me, or cash for this? You almost made me say damn. Did you get check or cash? Because he tried giving me a check. I don't know if I trust him. Uh, I think you better go with that cash. Yeah, I think I should too. <laughs> $50, <laughs> WCW Magazine, 80swrestlingcon.com. That's Ian Levy, Fix Our Bet. Just put it away. we got how many minutes left? Yeah, no. they, if, they, if they don't know where they're at by it's now. <laughs> but now as I cross my legs like a woman, I'm going to look very weird. <laughs> I just want to be comfortable. <laughs> 80swrestlingcon.com. Fifty dollars, uh, opening bid. Emil Menard came in again with fifty dollars. Oh, wow! I think Emil, the live auction should just be called now there's Emil. A, yeah. Yeah. Well, look, well, see, there's a guy that knows, he knows what to yeah. get and what to buy. Yeah. You know? Right. 
I, I would pop. Good deal, Emil. I would pop if your wife came on and outbid now. This was like, no, no, well, like well, 55. Well, I, I'm going to pop probably <laughs> open when she hits me when I get home and she said, you didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Jose and Reyes, Jose with 60. Jose, came, Lefty Lou came in at 55. Jose uh -oh, came Emil, in at 60. Oh, you started a bit ago. You started a bit ago. I didn't mean more. that. I didn't mean to do that. There you go. You know, what? Right. Mrs. Simmons, one thousand dollars. All right. Hey, what are you doing in on this? <laughs> Adam Pop, sixty-five. Live auction. Got about a minute and a half left. So we're up to sixty. Emil, you're not gonna let him. Mm. Emil just came in at oh, seventy. Or it. Seventy. So yeah, I, I, you know what? I got my money on Emil. I do too. Yeah. After last or two weeks, however long ago we were here, I, I got my money on Emil. Emil. I forget what that final bid wound up being. Hmm. Cliff Smalling wants to know how much you bet, uh, bench pressed in your prime. Uh, at my final, I think I did, I think of a uh, top down to 585. Oh, me too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Lefty. I love how so fast, <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe 585. It's good to be in the club, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Maybe 585, yeah. 590, I don't know. <laughs> you know, on a bad day, 560, yeah. but, you know. Now, I'm not speaking of squats. <laughs> Emil Bernard, uh, $85. Uh, Emil Bernard, Oh, okay, $85. so, all right. Yeah, because hey. as we're having fun, Lefty Lou yeah, and Emil uh, are in a, I almost called you uh, Who Lucy. else we got? I almost called uh, you Lucy got? Lou. <laughs> it's Lefty Lou. <laughs> Sorry. I'm I don't know, Lefty, Lefty, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think Lefty's going to be, you know, not going to go down <laughs> easy, okay? I watched yeah. Charlie's uh, what, Angels. What's Lefty? Lucy Lou. Lefty? Yeah. Oh, I told you, Lefty's not going to go out without a fight. Cliff you Smalling, know? you're a little bit behind. Lefty Lou's up to 90. Cliff Smalling came in with 60. But no, that's okay. <laughs> Emil's up to $100. What? Oh, $100. My man. I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. I, I knew Emil was going to, yeah. you know. Yeah. All right. Actually, Emil, 100 bucks. Oh, did he? Yeah, it's close. So that is. I mean, but, that, but hold it. Lefty gets another chance, though, right? Oh, I, oh no. You yeah, don't give another chance at anything? Lefty Lou, I think we closed it off. Did we close it off? What's going on here? You want to keep it going another minute? All right, Lefty Lou, 105. Right, you got to give him a chance. Lefty Lou, 105, 58 seconds. You so got you guys... to give him that. You got to give him a chance. All right, you're you the know? boss. Well, I mean, you, it's not fair. You got to give him a chance. You know, but my money's still on the meal. But Lefty, here's your chance, buddy. Can he do 101? <laughs> lefty if if it's more, right? Lefty lose at 105. Oh, is that? Yeah. Oh. But can he, I mean, they can do that, right? They're the 106, 101. I think we kind of just make shit up as it goes here. Right. Right? I mean, that's the vibe that I'm getting, Mr. Simmons. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, but Let's we do see. have, we, we have to be fair. So 25 seconds, Lefty Lou. Emil at 110. Oh. Oh, man. Emil this is good. I like this. I have to cut it off in 10 seconds because oh, it's no. going to be. Oh, Lefty Lou, oh. 115, five seconds. Remember the delay. And you got the buffer. Uh, well, guys, but I mean, you know, I, I said three minutes. It's like. Emil? Sold. Lefty Lou, 115. Oh. I mean, what? Man. You, you know, you, you can't set turns. Oh. You can't change it. I don't want to. Dang it. Lefty Lou, 115. <laughs> Oh, go near me. Yeah. I mean, you know, I just I want to be Almost, fair. man. I want to upset anybody. Uh, what, all, right. all right, so now we got the the T-shirt. So this is the Ron Simmons damn T-shirt. He's wearing I, one right now. Does that say it all? I don't even have to say what this means to me. There you go. Okay, right. This means it all. If I if I'd known that I could walk out. And all of those top rope drop, drop kicks and <laughs> everything else, right, that yeah. I've done. And I could walk out and say one word without getting punched, kicked, or uh, um, dragged or drop kicked. Brother, it would have saved me <laughs> hips, knees, <laughs> and everything. That's how much this shirt means to me. Yeah. Yeah, let's get this going. You could have bench pressed 300 like a normal person. Ah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> With the left arm. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, so we're going to get this one. We're going to start right now. Opening bid is $60. Oh, $60. Oh, and we're man. staying at the... Look. 
I'm going to let you I take over. I just told you how much that shirt meant to me. I have it. to follow the boss's rules over here. Not even you know? triple digits. Uh, I'm getting yelled at, you know. That's a damn shame. I feel like Michael Cole. I'm not in See how I had to use manners. that word even then. <laughs> Uh, is Emil back in it? Uh, we're going to find out. I think Emil, I don't know. I hope his feelings aren't hurt after. Oh, uh, no, man. We that's, just did like the Montreal. Well, that's my man, though, no, man. Emil. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, that was. So, I, you know, I don't know if Emil's going to jump no. back in. You know? I no, mean, but, it was, oh, let's add more time. But Emil's my man. Time, no, ring the bell. I don't know. I want Emil back into this because, you know what? Give him an opportunity now, right? Round two, buddy. You know? Emil's right. going to be like Bret Hart. He's not going to bid for 10 years. <laughs> Not coming back. <laughs> All right. All right. Joe Diatoma, 60. Adam Pop, 70. So we're at 70 dollars. Oh, yeah, we, got, we got two more now. We got Adam. <laughs> we got uh, Adam Pop and 70. I'm going with Adam. All right. I, I'm going to take Adam. That's actually okay. smart because now when yeah. they have you believing in them, they're going to keep bidding. Yeah, so well, I like that. I, well, I'm going to take Adam. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't, Joe, right? What we got? Uh, Adam Pop's at 70. Mm -hmm. Uh, Joe was at 60. And Joe was back. not going out without a fight? No. no. Okay, so we've got 60, and, 70. And, and G Joe Diatoma, those Italians, they don't like to lose. He's going to come back. I can feel <laughs> yeah. it. Adam Pop is 70. Emil says, I already bought a shirt. All right. Oh, oh he did? Yeah. yeah he did. So, okay, great. Yeah. All right. And he already bought boots, too, so he's just going to sit back and watch this. Oh, yeah. This <laughs> So, so Gary oh, yeah. Tukes just came in with 120. Oh, oh out of nowhere, out the park. Out of out nowhere. There. So that just knocked it out the park. Yeah. Okay. Just came right in. Right. So he good. just set yeah. the bar. Yeah. Okay. If you're serious or not. Yeah. Like Vince buying the territory. Yeah. Just, there you go. And we know how that goes, right? What's it worth? <laughs> I'm gonna pay four times the amount. Yeah. All right. So here we go, Garrett. 120, right there. Yeah. I, I don't that know. That did is, it. Is anyone gonna beat that? That did it, man. You know? We got 40 seconds. We got hey, to keep it fair. I, that pretty much did it. I'm waiting yeah. for a meal just for giggles. No. <laughs> just to be like, 120. I don't know where. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how much more time does Joe Diatoma goes, damn. Oh, <laughs> how much more time? Uh, 25 uh, seconds. Oh. Think your meal's going to come out of nowhere? I don't know. He said he already bought the shirt before. We'll <laughs> see. Yeah. Well, I think that 125, is it? Uh, yeah, it's 120. Yeah, that's that probably going to do. Yeah. I think you and Bradshaw need to have your own like home shopping network show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be the guy. Yeah. So that would be great. You know what? That would be I think fun. I'd enjoy that. All right. All right. Uh, sold at 120 to Garrett Tukes. Garrett Tukes, 120 to the signed Ron Simmons damn, damn t shirt. We're moving right along. I believe next we have either the football or the booth, right? Oh, wow, man. The football. Or... I got a couple of pictures first. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. A couple of these last-minute photos came in. Yeah. We're having so much fun here, guys. 80swrestlingcon.com. The store is now closed. But we have uh, silver. silver to Chris. <laughs> Adam Pop says, sorry to let you down, Ron. <laughs> it's okay, man. You get another opportunity, man. It's all right. <laughs> Follow at 80s Wrestling on Instagram. It's all right. You'll know when the store opens up. A lot of this stuff is going to be available. We understand it's a pandemic. It's tough times for everybody. We're just here having some laughs, enjoying each other's company. But 80swrestlingcon.com. Stay tuned for the upcoming store opening because all of this stuff that's been available for auction Mr. Simmons was nice enough to get here early. There's going to be a lot of stuff available at that store, along with all the memorabilia from other superstars that we've had in the past and are going to be having coming up in the future. So make sure you go 80swrestlingcon.com. Don't forget, from 10 p.m. till midnight tonight, 20% off all future signings from now till the end of July. Here we have right. Das Boot. Three minutes on the clock. We're going to start the bidding for this at $125. Can I see? One of the favorite colors of, you know, of mine particularly anyway, because, you know, being Doom's colors. Yeah. Right, right. and then plus uh, just a favorite color yeah, of mine it. anyway when I was wearing my ring gear. Yeah. Because, you know, of course, you could mix it with anything. Yeah, black can go yeah, with, yeah, with anything. You know? How did that work out? Because, I mean, you always wear very colorful. I remember you won the title in the purple tights and the blue tights. When you would go out on the road for the house shows, like, would you try to be like, all right, I got to mix and match colors for different cities? Like, no, to... no, we, no, we wouldn't as then, you know, as much aware as I would probably say today, as you mm -hmm. know, everybody being a lot 
colorful now, yeah. you know, and changing, yeah. you know, perhaps throughout the show, but no. I, it really didn't matter that much to me. Because I hate me. packing for a weekend. No, nah, like, yeah. nah, as long as it, listen, I'm out of one, as long as it was clean. Yeah. You know? <laughs> right. So 125, we're looking for the opening bid for the Ron Simmons signed boot. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Right there. So 125, opening bid. If we can get that. <clears throat> We're getting that. Getting the pair go with it, or uh, I believe if they want to get that, it's just the one boot, right? Yes, this one, yeah. one boot, one boot, one twenty-five. No, because sometimes I like to just go out. That's and a very well-made so boot. See. No, it is. Yeah. It is. Well, you can always wear this with anything. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Wear it to the matches. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> right. Barefoot yeah. on the other one. Yeah. Probably throw a drop kick or something with it, though. You, know? you could do like a like a mental patient gimmick, <laughs> like he escaped. It's like Norman the Little. Yeah, Norman, yeah, one book. Well, there you go. That's right. Yeah. Didn't Dave Sullivan do that? Well, everything's in style got, now, so you wouldn't look out of the way. <laughs> you know, you can wear anything these days. You know, people walk around their pajamas on and all. So <laughs> and yeah, hey, you can just wear one two, boot. With two boots. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Rick Steiner had the two different colored boots there as well. There you go. So we got Emil's going to jump in on this one, huh? Yeah, we're waiting for somebody to... Uh... Uh, you don't have a boot, right, Emil? Yes, he does. He did. Oh, he, he actually does? bought one. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh. He bought one before the okay. auction. He the other one. Well, what about Joe? <laughs> Joe didn't get a boot, though, right? There's Emil's. Oh, okay. Uh, this one probably will go to Joe. That's a lot for you to the right. <laughs> we are waiting for a opening bid and at 125. what was our opening bid at? Dan Gregory is asking about any more magazines. If you go to 80swrestlingcon.com, there's going to be a lot of those magazines available at the new store. The in-person, brick and mortar, you walk in. Remember the old days? That's going to be opening soon. There's going to be information, and there will be magazines available for purchase there, so stay tuned for that, uh, Dan. Anyway, we're waiting for 125 opening bid, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. So if you put 125, it's yours. It's actually really is a really very well made book. Of course, you know, we had to get all of ours, you know, specially made. So, you know, each guy had different yeah. places that they would go to, you know, individual styles of how you wanted it done. What, I just want to say, uh, I guess we're not because there was, all right, so 80swrestlingcon.com for more information. But I wanted to ask you that. Was there specific guys like, okay, you would say to somebody, oh, where'd you get those boots? Oh, I got them. Yeah, exactly, something. you would. Right, because sometimes, you know, they would different styles and, you know, with the arch, yeah. you know, and like myself, you know, with feet flat, so I had to have the arch made differently. Oh, okay. You know, and the insole, you, you know, go. right, yeah. And even back then, I'm sure they were pretty pricey. Yes. <laughs> you know, and I hate to think Adam what they Pop, probably are now. Adam Pop, 125, there you go. sold to Adam Pop. You yeah. asked for him. He said that he was mad and that he let you back in, hey. Yeah, that's okay. You rebound real good, man. You redeemed yourself. You know, man. yeah. You almost broke the man's heart. Yeah. Here you go. You're back. So Good deal, pictures. buddy. And now, finally. <clears throat> oh, no, man. Don't do this to me. Now, you're really going to bring back College Hall now. of Famer. Wow. Ron Simmons from Florida State. We're going to start this at 100 bucks. I expect this to go. Is that? Oh, well, we're going to start at 100 We're going to mm. start at 100 Well, this is, this is a football. Bro, I know. You know. I know. If, well, you think Tommy, oh, Fier Tommy Fierro doesn't know wow, football? Man. I mean, come on. I mean, I <laughs> honestly got to say, Just this kidding, really Tom. does, this this really is, you know, I've got the first love of mine right here, you know, the football, right. This is, this brings it all in perspective for me because it started everything. You started playing as a child or in high school? Oh, yeah, Pop like Warner. Pop yeah, Warner? Right. Wow. A meal at 100. meal at 100. There you go. You should walk miles, man, and uh, recreational at least six or seven just to go back and forth. You know, mm -hmm. to the games, you know. So, and it just progressed from there throughout junior high, mm -hmm. you know, high school, right, yeah. And it is, I mean, I know to everybody, high, high school football is king in Texas. In Georgia, it's a it's big a time. Field too? Yeah. Well? Okay. yeah, I would say on the same standards as it is, you know, like Texas, yeah. you know, right, yeah. That's awesome. Wow, man. This, but this, this really does hit home right here, you know. Well, right. Emil Menard at 100 bucks comes right in. Well, you know what? I'll tell you what. How about we do this? Okay. okay. This, this is the individual wall that they're going to receive, right? Yes. Right. Anyone that's what we've got here, we've got Ron Simmons, College Football Hall of Fame 2008 on here. 
How about this? If you're looking at this and want this ball, how about the highest bidder right get me to inscribe what they want on it other than what's on it now? Okay. How about that? I like that. So uh, you know, basically, whatever they want. Oh, you know, yeah. Put. Let's add it. We can go with FSU on it. All right. Number 50. And let's make it really, you know, something that they can treasure. All right. Well, that's that's you very know? nice of you. So Emil Menard's in at 100 bucks. Mr. Simmons will inscribe any yeah, personal yeah, message. Let's that really you make want it. Let's, let's really make it worth something. This is obviously, even if you're yeah. not just a Ron Simmons fan, any football fan, I mean, this is a huge piece of memorabilia right here. And he's going to inscribe it however you want it to be inscribed. So Emil Menard at 100 bucks. Can I see 110? Let's go 110 yeah. instead of 105. Yeah, let's make it worth something. So you this know, way, big time. if it's going to be a personal inscription. You know. If not, Emil Menard is about 50 seconds away from getting that football. Yeah, this is going to be really, yeah, this is great. This is home. This was the beginning here, man. A little big skin. And it's got to be great to go back. How many of, of your teammates were just, like, so happy to see you even go into WCW and get the success, right? Because oh, God. Man. If you don't make it to the <laughs> NFL, <laughs> yeah. go get regular oh, jobs. Man, or... oh, well, well, and then, you know, wrestling and all that, I've been a fan of it. You yeah. know? So it was something that, hey, you know, down the line, that hopes and dreams of yeah. the opportunity to present itself that I could. Yeah, that's you know? awesome. So great. All right, so we're waiting. We had the opening bid at 100 bucks. Mr. Simmons is going to put a personal inscription on that. So far, it's Emil Menard at 100 bucks. Joseph's asking for a close-up on the ball. He's getting it right now. Brandon Neal said, my wife said no. <laughs> oh. Might be time for a new wife. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm ki I can say that because I'm single. I'm I'll write up the Valentine. I'm single. I could say that. I just got to find me a lady that likes to go to bed listening to wrestling podcasts. Anyway, $100. $100. And I think we're down to the last 10 seconds before Emil walks away with it. And it is sold to Emil Menard. $100. Yeah. So, Emil, you go, uh, you're going to Good PayPal. deal, buddy. You're going to PayPal Tommy Fierro, but you're also going to let us know if there is an inscription to you. Emil. 80s number one wrestling fan. That's what he wants? What he wants. To yeah. a meal. We can hook you up, man. 80s number one wrestling fan. Here. Yeah. All right. But I guess stay with the silver. This is actually becoming, I mean, for as much as I enjoy doing these, these live auctions are so entertaining. They're becoming my favorite part of these because seeing these guys go back and forth and. Alrighty. There you go, my man. And our All yours, buddy. final item on the auction block is the Ron Simmons VIP experience. It's all, all right. eight of these photos signed. And we're going to start that off at $150. So all go. night long, you've been ordering these individually. Now you're going to get all eight of them. That's a great deal. Opening bid is $150. Great Not deal. Only all eight? All eight. Wow. All eight. And with how fast Mr. Simmons signs, it'll only take like 12 seconds. Right. So it'll be, <laughs> it'll be I got No, I'm giving you props because sometimes it's like, all right, don't ask too many questions. Wow. because Let's, they need see, to, let's take like, a look at these man, because I haven't gone through them myself. $150 opening oh, bid. Oh, man, you got one of these in here, Tyler. Garrett Tukes. We've already got... No, no, not yet. I, I think uh, that's something. We've got it all in here, man. Else. They don't have inside voices, these guys. They yeah, just like to we, yell. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think these pictures say it all, right? We got it all covered. The nation, yeah. the football. Rick Flair. Uh, yeah. Got it all. Championship. Now, this is great. One of the questions that was uh, asked earlier, and I didn't get a chance, but I wanted to because I remember it vividly as a teenager watching, was uh, the feud with Ahmed Johnson. Mm. I mean, that was hard hitting, and it just kind of. It, it. I remember he joined the nation, and then it kind of went away. Right? Was there? Or did he leave the nation again after that? Didn't Ahmed join the nation? But well, yeah, well, there cannot be two leaders. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it basically got to that. Yeah. You know, right. Yeah. But another phenomenal looking guy oh, you understand yeah, right just a you know monster of a man. Yeah, yeah you know 
uh, all the promise and talent in the world. Yeah. You understand? And I think he still didn't reach as high as he could have yeah. could have gone. You know, right? Yeah. Emil Menard was 150. Emil Menard, oh, 150. Here we go, man. My man. Yeah. Now Emil knows how to do this. I'm gonna. Hit That's it. the way you're supposed to do it, Emil. If you're gonna do it, buddy, slam him hard. Emil, there follow at Ryan Mar Comedy on Instagram, yeah, you know. and I may ask for a loan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if you're going to do it, do it right, Emil. My man. I mean, you know. Hey, you know what? We all have our things that we enjoy. And, and what been... taller would Emil like these signed in? <laughs> would, would you? I, I'm, all, I'm just going to go ahead and predict that, hey, this is going to go to Emil because I don't see anybody challenging it. No, you know? I don't either. I don't. I, either. I, I don't. You know, how much time does Emil have left? 45 seconds, and uh, he's at 150, so if we have 155, now would be the I don't time. Know. I it's got time for somebody to jump in there, you know, but I think this is going to be Emil. I think so, too. You know? If you would, do us all eight to EJ. All eight EJ. to EJ. All right, well, let me get ready. What color Any did he say? Color? Silver. Silver. Okay, here. How much more time? Uh, 20 seconds. So it's a big One. countdown. I really, I don't want to see him lose this one because we kind of, we kind of gave oh, him Oh, don't do that. And the big picture is his, too. And that's, that's his oh, as well. As well because, oh, that's him, too? Yeah. We did kind oh, of he's a screw deal. job on the magazine. I think Emil did a meal scratch off a ticket or something. Uh, right? <laughs> oh, right. It was a golden ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Sold to a million dollars. My man, way to go, buddy. For $150. All right, to EJ, you EJ. say? EJ. All, right, all of them. All of them. All eight of them right. to Silver. EJ. No. Silver, right, buddy? Yeah, that'll work. Yep. Guys, 80swrestlingcon.com. While Mr. Simmons is finishing up signing Emil's winnings, thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. Here are the upcoming signings, but most importantly, in 15 minutes, you're going to go to 80swrestlingcon.com. Until midnight, you're going to get 20% off every signing that you order tonight from now until the end of July. 20% off all of these names. But next week, we're back. Next Monday night, The Powers of Pain, Warlord and Barbarian. March 8th, Wendy Richter. March 22nd, Ace Cowboy, Bob Orton with Craig DeGeorge. April 19th, we got the Extreme Signing with the ECW Originals. April 26th, we have Cowboy Stan Hansen. May 10th, Ken Patera. May 17th, Eric Rowan and Darren Young. May 24th, Nikita Koloff. June 7th, The Rock and Roll Express. June 21st, Samu and Fatu, Rikishi, the Head Shrinkers. June 28th, Mr. Ass, Badass Billy Gunn. July 5th, Tyrus, formerly known as Brodus Clay. And July 26th, Man of a Thousand Holds, Dean Malenko. There are more signings being added every day. 80swrestlingcon.com for all the upcoming Monday Night Virtual. It's not just 80s wrestlers anymore. We're running the gambit. Anybody that you've seen on your Monday night TV shows over the last 25 to 30 years. They're going to be here, right here as part of Monday Night Virtual. Follow at 80s Wrestling. Follow at Ryan Mar Comedy. Don't follow Ron Simmons. He doesn't want to be followed. <laughs> <laughs> but we've had so much fun. Had a great all time, these man. Guys. Thanks for having me. Thank you all, Thank you all of the years. By the Thank way, you. is now a bad time to tell you we're not paying you? Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> 80swrestlingcon.com. Take care, guys.